I got, I got a question for Drust. Drust, is there a, a horizon on a on an on an infinite flat plane? Would there be a horizon on an infinite flat plane? No, no, because there's, no, there's, there's nothing there to the view. Well, there, there is, is actually. The, the there rest, is yeah. a horizon. There is a horizon. And hey, Rob has disagreed. Well, actually, no, no, what, I'm, what, I'm happy. I, I don't claim to be an expert <laughs> on geometry. What, what, so what, 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 I have a question. I have a question. Right, I have not. a question. Why the hell would there be a horizon on a fucking flat fucking plane? Here, here, a big ass flat line there. But why? I mean, what kind of? I mean, is that guy's eyeball like in the dirt on the ground? Where? This is he's stuck. Look, the ground. Let's say the ground is here. The ground has no role in the perspective. Why are there equation. no angles going downward to the ground? Because I've chosen to put this thing. I could do them, and if oh, you like, big, okay. I tell you what. Here what we go. Know? Then I've got some. Now here's an interesting thing. You just moved I, it away. You just moved it away. It kind of looked like it disappeared bottom up. Can you do that again? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Huh? Whoa, what the fuck is that? It's small. Yeah, pause it. Pause it there. Can you zoom in? Red? Can you take a screenshot and Why zoom in? Why can I only see the red, dude? Dean, put the red on the bottom and the darker color on the top. <laughs> and get excited because he, he can only see the brighter color. No, no, no. That's good. Yeah. This is good. If you can take a no, screenshot no, no, of that. Everybody stop talking. Stop. Everybody stop talking to second. Everybody oh, calm you, down. Dean, Dean, flip the goddamn colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little sh screenshot here Moving and we're going to magnify the damn thing. The glow Look glow. at that. Beautiful. Phew. <laughs> that was a hell of a debate. If you want to go ahead and fast forward, I'm just going to give a little introduction here. If you want to fast forward to where the debate starts, just click right here on this timestamp. Um, today's debate, man, we're talking about horizons. And the reason horizons are fascinating is because on the spinning space ball model, the horizon is that line you see out in the distance. You know, when you're standing on a shoreline, you look out at the ocean, and guess what happens on the other side of the horizon? Well, things disappear because the horizon on the globe model is where the bulge of water on the sphere rises up in front of you, peaks. And then on the other side of that, you can't see what's there because it's on the other side of the bulge, a vanishing line. On the sphere, the horizon is effectively a vanishing line. The crazy part is there's also a vanishing line on a flat plane. It's called a vanishing line <laughs> or a vanishing point. And artists and designers have known about this for hundreds, maybe a thousand years. Who knows how long they've known about it? has to do with perspective. If you're drawing flat planes, the flat plane is gonna to appear to rise up to your eye level, converge at a vanishing line, and it's called a vanishing line for a reason. You can't see what's past it. Just like on the globe, the horizon is a vanishing line, and you can't see what's past it because it's the other side of a sphere. It's a really, really, really simple stuff. Now, uh, uh, that's essentially what today's debate is about. Um, I think you guys are going to freaking love it. It's long, but sit back because we cover everything from does consensus equal truth? Just because mainstream science and all of science agrees on something, does that mean it's true by default? Uh, we cover everything. So again, that is it for today, guys. Oh, how could I almost forget? Guys, uh, you know, I mean, that stuff is flat. I mean, that should be obvious at this point. You know, that's, that stuff is flat. Like, I mean, it's, it's obviously and observably flat. I mean, that like obviously and you know Neil deGrasse Tyson says you can't see any curvature from 128,000 feet altitude if you didn't know that's four times the height of the average commercial airliner so it's really really like wow so uh again guys just you know the burden of proof unfortunately is on the globe uh the globe side because uh the globe sphericity not even visible from 128,000 feet it's a very elusive property of the sphere so uh, that's it, guys. The link to these incredible shirts are right down there in the description below. Click it. Pick one up for yourself. It's a great troll. I'll talk to you guys later. To the point where I don't have the resolution to see it would disappear on the horizon line, which hey, would be horizontal hey, to my view. Hey, I got a question for Druss. Druss, is there a, a horizon on, a, on, a, on an infinite flat plane? Would there be a horizon on an infinite flat plane?
No, well, there's no because there's nothing there to is. give you. Well, there, there is, is actually. The, there the is a horizon. There is a horizon. And hey, Rob is just agreeing. Well, actually, no, no, what, I'm, what, I'm happably. I, I don't claim to be an expert on geometry. What, 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 I have a question. I have a question. Right, I have a question. Why the hell would there be a horizon on a fucking flat fucking plane? Right, I'll show you here. It's down to the resolution. It's, this actually is down to this infamous because, Rayleigh criteria. I'll show, hold on, I'll show you now. I'll show you now. Perspective will create a vanishing point, vanishing line yeah. in the distance. Why? Yeah, what the fuck? This is a slight misunderstanding of terms. Red pill. Red pill. Red pill. Can I just respond? Hey, what are the fucking red pill? Red pill. I can use optics like a telescope to bring to extend my view, which would extend my point of view of horizon. Because right, it's right, right, because which is going down to the point. Wait, can I just finish my point, please? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Thank you, thank you. So. It's the point where the fact that the resolution of my eyes cannot make out that object. That's the vanishing point that you're talking about. And I agree with you. That That's real and it's there. But the difference is, is I can go and get my telescope or I can go and grab my spotting scope. I'm gesticulating to the left of me, which you can't see, which is really stupid. Um, gesticulating, bud. That's I'm because, okay. Russ, you want to know why that is? Wait, Dross, are you saying that you can see further if you put off, pull out a telescope? Is that what you're saying? On on a flat plane, I would be, I would drastically Correct. increase my my points of van the vanishing right. point. When you pull out a telescope, would, yeah. you're you're increasing the size of the lens, and you're you are extending the vanishing point into yes. the distance. Yes. And what about over water when you have all manner of different factors that need to be like taken into consideration? So here, here's a simple question: What are the odds that on a sphere? So according to you guys, on a sphere, when I stand at a shoreline and I look out at the ocean and I can see the horizon, the reason the water appears to rise up to my eye level at the horizon is because that's because that's because that's the bowl. It doesn't do that. Earth. It doesn't <laughs> that's do that. Hang on. Go when you get a field absolutely light, right to eye level. Hey, you can prove this right. yourself, what? Red Pill. Red Can pill. I ask oh, Red a question? I'll make a point. Red pill, you could go and establish for a fact. Go and get yourself a theodolite, borrow one for a day, go up somewhere, you know, a hundred, couple hundred feet high, point it at the horizon, and you will find that's below the horizontal. How do you, you know that's a horizon? Hold on. Hold on. Nearly finished. You yourself can go and prove this. With or just a couple of tens of dollars. You said the same to me, Rumpus. How do you I know, know I did, because, you because you're stupid out. as well, yes. But neither how, of you are going to do you it. Know? You're stupid right, and you don't Rumpus, care about reality. Rumpus, but here, Red Pill right perhaps hand. might be more Rumpus, interested. Rumpus, Rumpus, perhaps, are you, Red, Red Pill, are you actually interested in finding out if this is true or not? Well, that's what I'm about to ask you. I'm about to ask you, do you recommend I do it over water? Yes, because then the right, you know that the water levels are at the horizon. Okay, so, so body of water. Here's a big crisis point. What about fold lines? Rumpus? Here's a big crisis. Here's here's a massive crisis point for what you're uh, what you're telling me, Rumpus, is that you know about inferior inferior mirages, and a lot of times they appear to extend the sky lower than they really are. So all I'm saying is, if you go out with your theodolite and you look out over the ocean at the horizon. You better make sure there isn't an inferior mirage out there that extends the sky a little bit right. lower and then would make you think the two, horizon yeah. is lower than I Two things, two things. Any inferior mirage you will see if you are at a decent height will be so small it'll still be at the top of the inferior mirage, will still be below the horizontal. So that's not an issue. But B, you can go out on a day when there are not inferior mirages and so the problem doesn't occur. Hey, can I ask uh, Red a question? No. Yeah. Hey, uh, uh, Red. Oh, no. I said no first. Why doesn't the vanishing point meet at the water line? Right, that's what Rumpus is saying that it's below the eye level, and I don't. Buy no, that. no, no. I'm saying right. the vanishing point, the point where all lines converge to a point at the horizon. Why doesn't it meet at the horizon on the water line? Why? Because you're saying it's below the horizon. No, no. it's above it. It's above it because the horizon curves down away from it. Right. 
that's what Rumpus has been saying. That's why he's telling me to go out with a theology. No, that's not what, Ru no, that's not what Rumpus, Rumpus has been said saying. That if you two different things, right? right? The horizon is going to be below eye level. That's what Rumpus was right. saying. These are, two right. different, yeah. these are two different things, man. You're incoherent, okay. Sean. Shut up. Well, no, let me ask Rumpus. Rumpus, hang on. I want to finish. I want to talk to Rumpus. Let me right. finish. Hang on. Listen. Let yeah, me ask. Well, it is effectively the same right. thing. I think we're we both saying effectively the same thing. Rumpus, what is causing? Listen. Hang on. What is causing this uh, optical effect that we? It appears that when there's a target in the distance over water, you call it refraction, right? But I want to know what's causing it uh, when we see an object being mirrored or apparently being mirrored. What is causing that, uh, the reflection? What's What's the medium that's reflecting? That's what I want to know. Not reflecting. It's inverting due to refraction. But well, how are we seeing it? What what's the process or the mechanism behind how we are actually seeing this something that looks remarkably like a reflection and that the water beneath okay, was? Okay, whenever I've tried to draw. Okay, so at this point, uh, Sean Hawkins goes on another one of his unhinged mental breakdowns. So it's basically like me and him going back and forth as he tries to rationalize why he's afraid to debate me one to one, man to man, with no babysitters, aka moderators. So if you'd like to skip this back and forth verbal fight. Uh, between me and Sean Hawkins and just fast forward to this point right here and we get right back into the debate about horizons I'd like no, to say one say thing that. before I go make coffee. Can I do that? Don't. Can I say one thing before I go make coffee and get out of your hair for a while? Okay, okay, so go ahead. Ahead. okay. yeah uh, uh, red, red pill. Can I, I just want just one thing red pill debate me and you, one on one, Team Skeptics channel. Accept or be bitch made. Oh, bias public forum. Thank you, coward. Yes or no? I can do it right here too. Oh, oh, we're right here. We can debate right now. Hey, next Monday. Yeah, but it's too many, too out. many people in here today, so we uh, can we can uh, set a date, one on one. I've already, I've already challenged Sean Hawkins to a debate, one on one, with no. Moderators, of course, moderators. That's not the deal, dude. When Sean Hawkins, that's when what shoot, makes it okay. Shut up. When that's Sean Hawkins is a debate, when Sean Hawkins is a bitch moderator, he needs one of his little atheist buddies looking out for him. That's what he means by a moderator on a biased. See Chris public crying. Aura. See Chris crying. I can do it in this channel. All I have to do is keep control on who talks, and yeah. people have time to talk and let talk. That's all I need to do. You want to debate Sean? One to one gonna hang out with no fucking babysitters. All I need to do, all I need to do as a moderator is not let people over talk each other that's all i need to do one at a time i will have controls you speak your question you speak your one or two minutes i'll mute you and the other person answer that's all i need to do let people talk and let talk whenever you want so it's up to you guys yeah chris berry chris berry had something to say go ahead chris we'll do it on this channel there chris delamo i thought you had to go make coffee john accept or be bitch made Sean, I thought you had to go make coffee. You already fucking rejected my invitation. Well, is it? I mean, to be fair, you know, both of you guys will talk over each other. No one will get a word in edgeways. So you need some sort of time right, moderation. I, I, I as I am now moderate. proving, because I, you can't I, let me finish a sentence, which ahead. is a perfect example why I think both of you need a fucking babysitter to allocate time for you to present evidence yeah. and arguments to your points, which you will then allow a reasoned the, debate. Who do, who do you recommend the moderator be? How about Nathan Oakley? That would be fair because he wants one of his buddies to be the moderator. What if I had Nathan Oakley as my fucking moderator? Well, I'll, 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 no, I'll, 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 what do you, you think wait, that's wait, fair? Wait, We'll have you Jose. Say that? Jose has been would ultimately fair in fair? every engagement I've seen. You yeah. would never, ever, ever we'll think have... that's fucking fair. No, no you, think think, fair. you think Nathan Oakley is a fair moderator. You that's why he doesn't fair. do it. Because you he a no, point sure, he doesn't. He's you using that as an example. Sure, I'm that was like unfair Red because Pill. Red Pill was actually using that as an example of how biased that room would be if Nathan Oakley was moderating, moderating a debate between the two of you. Oh. He feels, and uh, to correct me if I'm wrong in a second, Red Pill, when I'm finished, 
he feels that it, how can we have someone who's going to be reasonable? Now, I would happily mod for both of you because I can mod and not get emotionally <laughs> invested. But Red Pill, wait, let me finish, has no reason to trust you guys me. Are funny. No, you no, guys no. Are I'm just, I'm funny. just being honest. You have no reason to trust me. You would doubt my, my ability to be, Listen, to be reasonable. It's really so. Simple. I You're think someone talk. like Jose would be a good, would be a good choice. Jose's or reasonable how, in the middle. How about no moderators, which is what I invited Sean Hawkins months ago, and the coward declined. He was live How? streaming about okay. me. Sean Hawkins was live streaming about me, talking his shit like he always does. I put a hangout link in his live chat, and the coward didn't join. He I got a moderator. Tweet with, tweet with will be the moderator. She doesn't like either one of you. Boom, yeah. you got it. <laughs> in moderators, bro. That's for fact. Anything you need a mod to do is actually just keep the time. That's it. Moderators are for cowards. Don't need them. Well, you are a bit inclined to interrupt people, aren't you? And so, oh, the rumpus of all people, the rumpus. No, it. I do allow people to speak. Nonsense. Um, that's fair. Red Pill, he is an expert on this particular Listen, why issue. Do you guys, why do you guys want these weird little rigged debates? One on one and a half. How is it rigged to have a moderator? Really? Why sure. the moderator doesn't interfere in the debate? How is that rigged? Well, the thing is, when you get your atheist buddy to be your moderator, it's kind of biased. Well, don't have an atheist buddy, then have someone like Jose who's not a. I mean, Red Pill, I saw the I saw the debating quotes you had with Godless Engineer. It wasn't fair. You were over talking him. You were disrespectful, cutting him in mid sentence. You have to agree with that. Everybody uh -huh. does. Thank you. Uh -huh. Even uh -huh. flat earthers. He doesn't like order. He likes chaos because in chaos nothing happens. Nothing. Oh yeah, happens. chaos. No, no, and just hard. That's why he thinks the. Red, oh, that's why he I'm thinks Nathan right. Oakley's channel is the oh, best thing since sliced bread. Baby, because Nathan Oakley is. As dumb as this motherfucker. Second brain to back. You're door. introducing chaos now, Red Pill. No, I'm not. Sean Hawk. Oh, 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 actually, I'll, I'll give you. I'll give Rumpus, <laughs> Sean, want, and I Red Pill. Chris, I want Chris Berry to present. Sean Hawkins wanted to talk about debating me. Let's have Chris Berry present. He's Sean Hawkins started this chaos. I'll, I'll give Sean Rumpus and the Red Pill just something to think about. When you shout over people. When you don't let people finish, the only person you sound like is G-Man, but just slightly more articulate. Well, sometimes when you're faced with Pete interrupting you, sometimes there's no option but to continue. I, I, yeah, and I, again, I mean, I, I can empathise with everybody that does it on occasion, but there's a little bit too much of it going on. Like well, I, think Chris, we... I, actually, I actually told Sean, I told Sean um, like a month or two ago, I told him, look, I don't mind debating on your side with your buddies backing you up if you if you honestly present the debate as a biased five versus one gangbang like i told sean hey i'll debate you I told this a godless engineer he invited me one time to the non sequitur show i'm like i'll go on the non sequitur show if you title the video five globe tards versus one flat earther guess what they didn't have me on because they don't right. and they kyle don't, said they, they would present it and you chickened out. Uh, you you chickened out. Okay, right now, the right now, any of you is being heard on YouTube is just myself being heard. And if you guys want to talk over me, you can do it. But I'm the only one being heard on YouTube. I want to give you an offer. This platform is for you. I will be over here. I will introduce you. It's going to be structured. You're going to have a uh, figure it out. Five minutes presentation ish. I will have control on the on the audio. Once you get your five minutes, you will be muted. The other person will have five minutes. Then you're going to have the two minutes. You know, we'll find a structure. We'll do this. We'll make this happen the right way. I will not interrupt. I will not do anything. You guys are gonna have time one on one, unbiased, and it's gonna be beautiful. Thank you. It's just an offer on the table. I appreciate the I offer, but I need a to rig safe space to debate somebody. I can do a I'm, one on one, man to man. I'd I'm like okay. to, I'd like to add something. I talked to Kyle personally. I emailed Kyle, the one of the guys from Non Sequitur, and I said Red Pill said he will debate if you if you entitle the debate. Five or seven or whatever the fuck you wanted. Yeah, to I saw your video. On that. Where's my offer? Five club cards against one, one flat Earth believer or one, whatever. Invitation? However you wanted to word it, he where's said he would invitation? word it like that. And you where's my invitation? The fuck where's, my out. Invi where's my invitation? You chickened the where's, fuck out. Where's the invitation? You're a liar. Can I bring this to the flat Earth? Red pill. Red pill. Have you actually got any flat Earth? Um, <laughs> 
positions that you'd like to uh, uh, subject us to and somehow prove to you. I love how I come into a hangout with like eight globe tards and I'm the coward chicken now. No, well, hey, Sean, yeah, sure. hey, Sean, you're going to go on Nathan Oakley's show one day, you coward? Oh, he's I've a buyer. I've been on there twice. They muted and booted me for fruit for starting oh, to like, talk about oh, the globe. Like Mike so Flat Earth. Fuck you. Like Mike Red, Red Pill, you must, you twice, must accept that Nathan Oakley is a completely unacceptable forum for any sort of debate. Oh, he muted people. I was debate with Mike Flat Earth the other day, and he muted the guy like 70 fucking times. It was hilarious, dude. Well, hold on. Well, you're not being muted here. How would you like to present some Flat Earth proof? Well, the burden of proof is on the globe side. No, it's not. Okay, then. It's on the person uh, yes, coming in against the you have the burden of proof. You have okay, the then. Another well, thing you don't know. You have That's the the one more thing you don't fucking know. Red pill. Well, okay, uh, what, yeah. what's the problem? Can you present any problems that the global Earth model has then? Um, Can you invalidate yeah. the global Earth model? Yeah, there's a bunch of weird things that just keep. Well, how about one? Weird. How about giving us one invalidation of the global model? One of the weird things here, can I share my screen, Jose? Is that possible? Yeah, yeah. Oh, we can all see. I'll, 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 I'll highlight you, Red Yeah, because I'm oh, okay. quite reasonable. Am, am, am I presenting now, Jose? Right, I think oh, he's actually sharing. This I is funny. Say. Check this out. This is hilarious. So, okay, so oh, first of all, this is cute. You know, this is Alice in Wonderland. You know, I was just looking at it. It's not really my point, but it's funny. You know, they show the sun and moon in the same size, represented by twin characters. Pretty funny, interesting, just a little, just like funny, little nothing. That's really. a cartoon, asshole. Anyway, that's my side point, you idiot. I'm talking to Rumpus, not this your is CEO. Like, well, high IQ research. Anyway, this is back, high IQ research. Part back to the point. Back to the point. So I just, uh, Rumpus, you know, one of the very strange, uh, strange things about the globe model, because uh, on the globe model, you know, there, there's a horizon. You know, the, there's a bulge of water that rises up in front of you, and then it peaks and it creates, if you're looking out at the ocean, you see this, this vanishing line. Now on the globe, it's a vanishing line. It, it is, it's the line, the horizon, and on the other side of that, you can't see what's there, it's obstructed. But what a weird and just wild coincidence that that, that vision literally has the same properties. The floor beneath your feet will appear to rise up and there's going to be a vanishing point or a vanishing line strictly caused by vision where when things get to that vanishing line or vanishing point, guess what happens? Things disappear, just like the globe model. It's such a weird coincidence that, sorry, Rumpus, it keeps me up at night. Okay, okay. That was all. I just want to know what building that was. Grade school, dude. Come on, man. You're right, a you're trust, a grown ass man, dude. Trust, I can get some grown right, ass. Trust. Trust. I mean, so not trust. I mean, uh, 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 red pill. I, right. So what you're basically saying is that perspective works on a flat Earth and on a spherical Earth. No one's disputing this. When things get small in the distance, things get small in the distance and disappear. We know this, or not disappear, due to the rally criterion. You just simply merge in. You can't resolve them. You're thing. <laughs> So applying the logic you've just the point you've just presented, can you please explain to me where the bottoms of these wind turbines have gone? Because they're quite a lot bigger than the minimum size that you can see, and they're obscured. They're not disappearing because of their small size, they're disappearing because there's something in the way of them. And that thing is the curvature of the earth. Uh, this is basic well, basic science of optics and perspective. Right, you I don't, mean, you don't understand about perspective. optics, Red. Uh, no, you don't understand it. Uh, it's Red, all it's optics. It's perspective all perspective, perspective optics. did not cause things no, to disappear from the bottom you, up. That's, that's you conceded. You, you, hold the, on. Well, the, Red, the, your, your, your basic the, point, your, the, hold on, your, hold on, your diagram, your diagram just simply pointed out that when things get small, they disappear, or in effect, they become unresolvable. We know this. That happens on the flat Earth and the spherical Earth. But we've got a big object here. So the point you've just made is utterly, utterly, utterly irrelevant. No, you that's... need to account for the fact right. that why two thirds of some of these wind turbines are missing, and that's not due to them getting small. It's due to stuff yeah. that's being in the way. I mean, this is so. You can't see I mean, your screen, Rumpus. This is, such, this is so. Oh, basic. sorry. Oh, Rumpus. Jesus. Rumpus, this is this is really just science we're dealing with. We're dealing with the science of physics, uh, physics optics, so, and vision. It's, it's right. really not that hard to uh, get sorry, sorry, to not uh, Red Pill, I'd like to know what building that's from. Sorry, am I talking to Rumpus or somebody no, else? No, I, I just want to know what Can building that's from. Can you deal with that later, Trust, please? Yeah. Right, so Red Pill, 
Here we've got some wind turbines. They're oh, not small. They're not they're small. Big. So what the point you've just made about your things getting small is completely irrelevant. They're big. They have a big angular size. Perspective, the perspective does not cause things to disappear or yes, lose. It does. It no, it doesn't. Does. No, it doesn't. It does. That means you don't understand yes, perspective. All no, that means that means that means that means that means that means is cause things to get small. If you understood the geometry, you'd know that. You no, need to account for why two thirds or three quarters of these bases of these turbines are missing. Perspective geometry cannot do that. I can. Well, aside from the no, fact that, aside from the fact, aside from the fact that you haven't even uh, even debunk life is short's incredible presentation, which is a really big short, problem. idiocy. He doesn't understand basic geometry. Oh, you're gonna call hold everybody. On, hold on. You, you are. We're talking to you. Hold on. We're talking to you. I want you to explain to me. How perspective is causing the majority of these wind right. turbine I'm bases to be missing? You right now, you ready? Go ahead. Okay. You see this picture on my screen? Can everybody see my screen? Yes, but that's irrelevant because you're just dealing with small things. I'm dealing oh, with want things of large sorry, angular sorry. size. Ask me to answer your question. I'm going to answer it. Well, you'll be. You'll be but the point is, you're not answering oh, my point about I'm things of large answer. angular size, are you? You're basically you saying. Robos, let him explain. You ask him a question, he's going to explain. He asks you if you see the picture. You see the picture now? Okay. Now explain. I mean, come on, you got to let me answer your question, man. I mean, that's all right. So you see the lights on the ceiling? See them as they go off into the distance? You see that? Yeah. 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 Perspective. Yes. We know well, that. Rumpus, okay. Right. So the cl the closer, the further away the object gets in your visual field, the closer it gets the vanishing line, the vanishing point. The closer objects in your field of view are to the vanishing zone in the distance. That's a thing. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, the vanishing line, the vanishing point, these are real principles artists and designers use when they're making drawings. Right, but we've got a big thing. It's too big. So these vanishing zones. Wait, 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 wait. Your question, you're rumpusing. Okay. As objects get closer to the vanishing line, the vanishing point, which it, it, it's this point right out here in the distance, and yes, it's at eye level. Now you might say that the horizon a little below eye level on the real in the real world, that's fine. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna explain to you why things disappear bottom up due to perspective. The further away okay. it is, the closer it begins to get to the horizon. But because the sh the, the turbines, um, yeah, they have rotisserie chickens and different stuff. You're interrupting, uh, Chris. Um, you mute. I don't you're muting. Think so. Chris, you're interrupting. Hello, Chris. It's ordering pizza. Chris, you're interrupting. You're on mute. Yeah, 12 30. 12 30 oh, should Jesus be okay. Christ. I haven't heard from Katie. Chris, yeah. they'll be ready by then. They better be. Chris, right. Chris you're interrupting. Come on. Mute yourself, bro. Chris, mute. Jesus. <laughs> well, I'll wait on Chris to mute. A 150 Chris, meter <laughs> tall shipping shipping ship would have to go 800 kilometers to disappear due due shut to up, perspective. Robert, Robert, dude, shut up, man. Yeah, he was still he hadn't quite finished his gibberish. All right, so at, okay, so you see the light. Can you guys see the mouse on my screen? Yes, well? we can. Okay, great. So as the lights get further now, the turbines because the turbines also have such great height. Um, height is a form of distance. It's vertical distance. And that pushes, that means that the top of the turbines are further away from the compression zone. You don't understand what perspective is. I haven't finished, I haven't finished. Then the bottom. And so the bottom, so it disappears bottom up. It's so simple science, basic science of optics and vision. You guys need to get with this shit. You guys you, are- You know the formula for perspective? Oh, one ten to the arc tan or the arc tan. I don't need to know your stupid. No, you see, you don't. You don't understand. I don't need to know your. And what's more, you don't understand. If you are pointing down, do you understand that if this camera was pointing down, that what you call the vanishing point is going to move up? Um, what you see, the trouble is, you've got this obsession. You've got this artistic view of perspective. You don't understand that the camera doesn't care about ceilings. Rumpus, walls, walls, I can answer your question. Hold on, I, I'm dealing I with the theory out. out. I have my, yeah, my Chris, we have to deal with your bloody pizza. Yeah, I'm dealing with red pill at the moment. The point you're making is basically things disappear due to their size. That is not the issue with my wind oh, turbine. Oh, hold on, hold on. Yeah, you need good. to explain how these things are obscured because. Your claims, which basically revolve around things becoming small, are not relevant in this case. Yes, no, they no, are. No, they're, they're not. Are. 
That's again, you don't understand perspective. We don't worry about established Christians. You don't understand what. Wait, 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 Rufus, 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 I specifically address your question about bottom up disappearance, not just in general. There's nothing in the equations for perspective that calls things bottom up to disappear. Your presuppositional equations based on around distance. Your presuppositional equations based on an assumption the Earth is a sphere for two thousand no, years. Nothing to do. No, no, no the we care about your equations. Equation. The perspective equations have no bearing on the spherical Earth or the flat Earth. They have just optical trigonometry, well, a basic geometric thing. They have when nothing to do with the shape of the Earth. You are seeing things visually and optically. You have to take into account vision and optics. No, you, you don't. Not with the equations for perspective. Ships disappearing bottom up, which is, is caused by them being obscured, have got nothing to do. The perspective equations have no bearing on the shape of they take no case whether we're on a spherical earth or a flat earth. Perspective rules are adhered to, and if that's the shape true, cannot change. The, the shape of the earth cannot reality. change the way light rays and enter the lens. True, if that's true, then the equations ignore reality. <laughs> because so, life is short, life is short has already demonstrated this. With an no, actual he's, he's an idiot, he's an idiot. Those, though that he doesn't understand basic perspective, and I'll show you all the perspective is and how it's irrelevant too. Here we go. Here's how perspective works. This is something you and Chris don't understand. This has got right, so we can see here. And I can draw this at an arbitrary angle just to make sure that you don't get confused about angles because you love having things horizontal. There's nothing you enjoy more than a nice horizontal thing. Here we go. So we're looking up. We've got an, a, an eye here looking up. Let me just move this text out of the way. Right. So what happened, have to the, a white... what, happened to the what happened to the angles below that flat line? I don't understand what you mean. Anyway, Karen, here, it's here, a the... big ass flat line there. But why? I mean, what kind of? I mean, is that guy's eyeball like in the dirt on the ground? Where... This is he's step. Look, the ground. Let's say the ground is here. The ground has no role in the perspective. Why are there equations? no angles going downward to the ground? Because I've chosen to put this thing, I could do them, and if oh, you like, okay, I tell you what, here we go then, I've got something here, okay then, I'll tell you what, I'll use this other example I've got here, where I've got an object. The giant spheres? Yes, the giant spheres, and we'll do that, and you can think if you like, there's the centre of his vision, which is the only thing that matters, the only thing that matters is the centre of vision, the ground will say is down here if you like, if that's worrying you, so here we go, so there's the ground. Down there. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Rumpus. What does this have to do with anything? Because it's perspective. I know you don't understand perspective. That's your no, problem. It's all new to you. I appreciate that. You don't understand perspective. It's I like understand that. that. I understand you don't understand perspective. I'm demonstrating to you. Let me ask you Who the hell's Rumpus? Who the, who's, who's echoing? Oh, I'm brave. Shut up, my rave. Mute your stupid dickhead. God. Hey, Lemon, say, right. we got a still on aisle six. On aisle six. With a right. Plane. So I'm and trying to explain perspective to flat red pill. The angles right. are do you understand? Proportionally. Right, so do you understand here yeah, that probably. this is the perspective effect looking along the center? I'm now, because you weren't happy with me just drawing something above here, I just did that for simplicity. No. Is right. his eyeball in the dirt? No, the ground is down here. This is the ground here. Oh, but where are the angles coming down to the floor too, Rumpus? So don't, it's the, I'm making the point that the ground has no role. The sh this ground could be banana shaped. It doesn't <laughs> make any difference. Rumpus, Rumpus, you need, you need first of all, you're not going to prove, you're not going to convince me of anything with a bunch of with a bunch of fucking spheres on, on, on the thing. Yeah, so why you don't understand the thing. I appreciate it. Why don't you, don't, you go back? Why don't you go back to the one with, with the flat earth? Let's go no. to the one with the flat earth. Okay. Uh, let, me, let me ask it. Let me He's ask you. Do you have any, any valid? Laurie's you complained that I was not drawing this. Uh, the. Oh, let's just get this out of the way. Yeah, can you get that out of the way? That'd be wonderful. Okay, right. Let's just. Uh, what I was trying to ask is do you have any valid objections? Because you keep making up. Things that are not like you're just oh, but you you can't do this, you can't do this, but you don't seem to have any good valid objections actually there. Yeah, yeah. I just I'm, I'm wondering, like, do you have valid objections? Yeah, I do. You're just a globe tar. You won't accept them. Well, hey, Carl, that, uh, hey, that, does, not, that does not sound like a valid objection. You're just a globe tar. You're just a globe yeah. tar. 
I'm talking to Rumpel. Thank yeah, you. Uh, Thank Red you, Redfield. You're proving my do point. You do not have valid objections. Into a fucking Thank Nathan you. Oakley hangout. That's all he's trying to do. I, I, I will let you talk to Rumpus. I was just trying to ask you and clarify if you have valid objections or not. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. I do have valid. I will, but I I will now come back on mute. And I will let valid. you talk to Rumpus and I will let you present those valid objections. Very simple. Right, so here's perspective. Yeah, he's saying that uh, the and that all, of the, all the perspectives are being compressed. Lemon, can you shut up? We're in the middle of doing. We're in the middle of something here. Yeah, hold on, Rumpus, because yeah, you, you have a lot of time. I want to hear Arif. I'm about to close the show. I want to get Arif for a minute. Yes, Rumpus. Yes, there's always a tomorrow. Go ahead, Arif. Oh, I give up. I give up. I absolutely give up. Individual field of the observer and the bottom part of the objects are being compressed because you only have six feet or less if you're on the ground. That's logical. You're expecting things to vanish equally as if it would be the same as if your eye line was at the same level as the middle of the object, 50 50 with 50% half of it above your eye line and below versus being low to the ground where you only have six feet to work with. That's illogical. It's illogical. Flat Earth is illogical. No, Carlos, you're illogical. Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> while, while, while this is silent, um, let Yo, me I, I, I can't ask believe I stopped Rumpus. Holy shit, this is wild, man. I silenced the Rumpus. The Rumpus himself has shut his no, mouth. This I'll say, I'll say ask Rumpus to, um, to, to be quiet, not you. Crazy. So, um, I actually had a question to ask Redfield, but I'm not sure if he's going to yeah, how do you do that let me actually that. ask it uh what Sorry, i was wondering ahead. what i was wondering is um uh, red pill used the exact phrase that things would disappear in that corridor exactly like they would on the globe model so if i get him right a person walking down the corridor would start disappearing from the ankles up and then his hips and then his waist and then his belly button and back, and then finally his head. Uh, and so I have seen um, people walking down corridors, and I have uh, never uh, seen anything like that happen ever. So well, when you're, to me, when it you're, sounds completely like it's he's being well, a when, bit when you're, logical when you're, there, maybe. Yeah, when, you're religious, religious, when you become a high, when you become a high, I oh, I'm sorry, 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 i am sorry i uh, the sun is so high up in the sky. That's why it, uh, it, it, it disappears the way it does uh, into the vanishing point. I wasn't I'm, comparing I'm it to the oh, sun. Sorry, I wasn't comparing it to the sun. We can compare it to anything that disappears bottom up. Oh, well, yeah, like a boat. Like, like the mountains, like the boats. We don't need to use it. Right. right. And, and you want me to ask you a question about the hallway and the yeah, guy walking? Yeah, yeah, I can let you do that. Yeah. Ahead. Yeah, sure. Yeah, just put the camera on the floor, close uh, close to the floor, have somebody walk away, and they'll disappear bottom up. It's really easy. That was right. That that on was a uh, flat floor, buddy. Right, right. but your your guys' your guys' mentally ill excuse that the floor isn't flat was debunked by Life is Short's demonstration with the two cameras. So No, he's a moron, dude. That guy's yes, a complete no, you're a moron. Idiot. To be a complete fucking idiot. Here's, here's a you're a complete a fucking idiot for thinking he's smart. Here's a theoretical, my, my red pill. A if you have a theory, 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 and take us away from the creator. But we have to start from a decent uh, point where um, stuff converges at the eye line of the observer. From that, you can derive the other principles. Just because we have a limited uh, view of what perspective is with one equation yeah. doesn't mean that we have other um, newer, better formulas. I mean, stuff isn't just, just going to vanish evenly as it would uh, with half above your eye line and half below some other um, rules. A low down observer who's close to the flat plane. A 100 meter tall boat would have to go 800 meters on a flat plane before it could vanish.
Well, yeah, so you talk about the 94 feet of the boat that would so be above your eye line, converging down to your eye line in that zone. And then you talk about the six feet from your eye line below that's converging up to your eye line. So those are going to converge differently. Especially the setting zone because the limiting factor is the six feet of room that you have that's limited from your eye line below. And that's going to give you a setting point. You're going to get a horizon just like you get on a globe. What a coincidence that vision will create similar properties to a spinning space ball. It's really something. Yes, but you didn't hear what I said, dude. What a coincidence, man. It's really amazing. didn't hear what I said. Really amazing. It's almost like they've woven the globe model into pre-existing properties, and it's just an ad hoc hoax. That's, that's what it seems like, like to me. That coincidence that the atmosphere makes that sun just, you know, magnify when it goes to the horizon to keep the angular size. Kind of like that coincidence. Oh, well, here, I have a debunking for that uh, long... No, uh, no, it's not... Wow, that's, like, that's a coincidence. So the further the sun goes away, the bigger it gets, well, and it keeps it... Well, you right. know what? You know what? First of all, that's not that's not the best answer I have for that. Oh, I have a way better answer. I have a way better answer. No, Carlos, you're going you're gonna to want to hear this. You're going to want to hear this. Carlos, you're going to want to hear this because you guys are going to have to come up with a good counter-argument to this one. Lord, but, sure. But nothing says coincidence like super looming hyper dynamics. You oh, know, no, 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 no. Explain oh, the sun. Jesus Explain Christ. the sun. Explain the sun. Go ahead. Okay, so the sun is so big. How far is it? The sun uh, is so big and so high up that angular size is gonna have it's it basically it's a parallax thing. You're gonna you're gonna witness little oh, to no. no well, hold up, I haven't finished. You're going to witness little to no angular size change because it's so high up and it's so far away and it's so big, it can literally reach the vanishing point of your vision without appearing. <laughs> That's right. ridiculous shit. Dude. You guys, you guys, okay, hang on. You guys, <laughs> look at this. It be heard. Hang on, it seems that could be heard. Let me say something. Come on, man. Let me say something. It seems that could be heard for the last few minutes. Can I ask Red Hill and all Abe a question specifically, right? So we, there's only one reality that we all share. So what if we as flat earthers replace the vacuum of space with? That's because I think it's a very pertinent and a very important question uh, that no, first of all we must attempt to answer. Uh, no, it's not. The angular size of the sun was being on the table. Angular size of the sun is what yeah. we're talking about. Yeah. Let Carry on. Uh, it's the same thing. Uh, yeah, yeah. I already gave you guys an explanation. You laugh like little girls. So if you guys hate science, science, science. If, you guys, if you guys are anti science, if you guys are anti science, that's fine. If you guys are anti science, it's all good. I, will I, promise, I promise I won't laugh. Go ahead. Carry on. My bad. I already, I already explained it. <laughs> no. Okay. The thing is, um, a one hundred uh, you got to treat it like a three. A 100 mm. kilometer tall boat would have to go 800 kilometers in the nonsense. distance for it to disappear. Uh, no, why don't we I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, Sean. The sorry, Sean. The anchor resolution limit of the, the human eye has found to be quite close to that. That's perspective, dude. That's perspective. A 100, a 100 meter tall. Shipping container boat would have to go 800 kilometers to be to disappear to a point. Stupid nonsense. Water is reflective, way. and after a certain acuteness of angle over distance, that, this will a uh, mirrored layer will set itself up, and the the no, object which is lacking contrast. Math. This is sufficient size will disappear behind it. Do with mirror Simple as that. Mirror math layer. reality. It has nothing to do with that. Math Simple is reality. reality. Effective geometry. Math is no, reality. you must you must hold that the horizon is three miles away at eye level at the beach. This is your fate and your Achilles heel. That has nothing to do with the horizon. You're looking over a plane of water, but the acuteness of viewing angle at the upper reaches between the water and the horizon. States that a 100 meter tall shipping container boat would have to go 800 kilometers in the distance to vanish. Listen, and it would never vanish out of Earth. If, if your eye line was perfectly at the middle of the object, yes. But since you're low down in the flat plane, you have a 94 feet above your eye line distribution and a six feet below your eye line distribution that is uneven, which is going to give you a setting point over a flat plane before it gets too compressed and the angles get too narrow from your eye line uh, from the bottom half of your vision to deal with. So the 
bottom of the boat, boat vanishes I'm out. Talking right. about I'm talking about optically. I'm just dealing with a reflective surface. I'm not I'm talking optically. I'm talking mathematically. Math isn't reality, you idiot. Math represents reality. Math it's it's reality. Defines, reality. defines zero and infinity. You, you can do math to represent Game of Thrones fantasy unicorns. Math does not necessarily represent reality, Sean. Um, yes, it does. Are, we can also start we can a game dude. of Thrones. One hundred percent does. Sean Hawkins, I can add three unicorns plus three unicorns equals six unicorns. It doesn't mean I have six that's unicorns. That's a fucking idiot. stupid. That's by the way, that's a fucking stupid argument. We can also use language to talk about fantasy land. So we cannot actually that's use language to talk language. about reality. Really yes, sorry. yes, yes. yes. So language. can you actually let me finish? That's can you actually let me finish that's my fucking language. point? Are so you talking about this, cannot, Larry? Um, can you actually let me finish? So we cannot actually follow Red Bull's logic. We cannot use language now to describe reality, and I we cannot talk, and we cannot logically well, infer because we can I talk about fantasy that. land. We can talk about I fantasy land that. using yeah, language. So we have to throw language out. I didn't uh, okay. say we that. Have to uh, uh, I'm about I yeah. Said, I, I uh, said yeah. Okay. I think you guys are going to be finished that, uh, offline if you guys want to. So please don't drop. If you are in a rush to drop. Who want to take the first spot on? Give me your final thoughts on this show, on this episode. Sean Hawkins, you got to run. Sean Hawkins, go ahead first. Please, everybody on mute, do not interrupt. This is a just one one person final thoughts. Go ahead, Sean. All right. You've seen how fair uh, Jose is on this, on this hangout. Or you wouldn't be here, Red. So the challenge is on. Debate on Jose's channel. He hosts it. Nobody else, me and you. I'm out. Thank you, Sean. I appreciate it. I'm going to go down the list. Uh, Ariv, final thoughts? Well, this is, um, he's talking about, uh, Lori's talking about language not, you know, representing reality. This, unfortunately, is the direction that we're going in because we're asked to deny our senses for instruments, for, for anything other than, you know, um, trusting our senses. So we go down a dangerous path in which we can't use our, our God-given senses anymore, and we have to trust math machines, sciences, a totally artificial construct world. Thank you very much, Arif. We're going to go down with Carlos. Yo. Final thoughts, man. Let's close it yep. up. Uh, just as always, 2019, politics still don't understand perspective. Thank you. Thank you, I appreciate it. Lori? Uh, I would return to my previous point that uh, we can actually use mathematics to describe both reality and fantasy lands, and we can use la language to do both as well. So if we have to throw out math mathematics because it can represent fantasy, should we then throw out language as well? Because, well, fucking hell, we can write fantasy books and but fantasy lands, lands using language. language is out as well. Um, religion is out because we have might have a true religion, but then the, all the other religions are bullshit. So we don't basically, if we would use that logic, we don't have any way of discerning truth any longer. So, well, yeah, good luck with that, I guess. Thank you, Laurie. I appreciate it. Shout out to Cleary. Uh, Pete Che. Uh, what I would like to know is why Lowry talks like he has a frozen giraffe shoved up his anus and he's about to give birth. Uh, but that's for next time, maybe. Uh, well, rumpus, not to fucking make it about rumpus, but um, yeah, we see this uh, apparition, which they call refraction, which appears to be a perfect reflection of a target in the distance over water. When a mask in the middle how perceive it it's all airy fairy the air is doing it when we break down what is it within the air nitrogen the oxygen the water particulation maybe water we know as a basic property is reflection what the ballers must hold when they look over uh, at the still waters of the oceans at sun uh, sunrise uh, at six foot high level is that the horizon line that appears to them is 2.98 miles away. When you reconsider that it is much more beyond that, we're looking over a flat plane of water and the more distant water as it approaches the horizon is much 
more compressed. And what happens then is mirror-like conditions set themselves up. So on that note, uh, take that, uh, you know, as you will, and I'll see you next time. Shout out to Aristarchus and the Dodo. Thank you, Pichay. Excellent. Uh, Aristarchus, the ultimate answer revealed. <laughs> Go ahead, Repil. Yeah, okay. Laurie was arguing with a straw man. Um, so he was literally just incoherently gibbering to himself for like a whole minute there. Um, I never said we have to give it a language. I'm saying math is not reality. So can math be used to describe reality? Yes. It can also be used to describe batshit, crazy unicorn fantasies. And so, and so you can do it with language. I can use language to describe the details of a building. It's gray, it's 10 stories tall, but I can also use language to say that Winterfell is real and Rob Stark is walking through the fucking you know, castle and that unicorns and dragons. So it's not that there's something wrong with using the language of math or the language of just you know, your standard everyday spoken word my point is you can use it to either talk about shit that doesn't exist or you can use it to talk about shit that does exist. Math is not reality. Second, Sean Hawkins, um, he was doing a live uh, stream months ago. I, I, I went onto the chat of his live stream. He was talking crap about me. I said, here's a hangout link. You got time to do a live stream and talk shit about me. You got time to join my live link and let's talk face to face. The coward did it. He needs a rigged safe space with a quote moderator because he has a small low IQ. He has a small low IQ and he needs things prepared and safe for him. And lastly, Rumpus. Uh, no, you know, you're cool, Jose, but you know, it's just, it's just, I don't like the safe spaces, man. And, and that's what these moderated debates do. It creates, that is my time, Carlos. Uh, that's what the moderated debates do. It creates, a, it creates little guardrails for the low IQ P brain, Sean Hawkins, so he doesn't trip up. So I'm not going to give him that if he's so smart. It's my time, Carlos. Lastly, uh, rumpus disappeared. I, 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 I'm shocked. Did I slay the rumpus? I don't, I don't even know what the hell's going on here, guys. But rumpus is is, is missing in action. Thanks. Thank you very much, Rapil. I appreciate your participation, bro. Uh, the I'd rumpus. Like, oh, oh, go ahead, Cinder. Like you first. To, go ahead. I'd like to ask Rat to stay a moment because um, I, he he claimed the the stuff about objects disappearing bottom first over flat surfaces and I made a challenge a few months ago on uh, which um, people who prove that the concept can win five thousand dollars the first person but nobody sent me anything until now something Zinder you were sent stuff but you said that you're not interested in two hour long highly complex scientific explanations no I said I don't I'm not interested in a right two, right, and a right, half right. Hour you, video you, you scoffed at a, at a, video at a anymore and it is my time it is my time so i accepted that video which um i haven't worked through anymore um but i will t watch the end of it tomorrow and i will talk to mind of god again about it i said um i won't accept any videos anymore that are two and a half hours long i just accept the points my challenge is being proven one by one. Yeah. And here is the challenge if someone wants to, like, I don't know, someone wants to um, screenshot it or whatever. Um, if you want to present it to any people who uh, think they can win $5,000, you are free to do it. Mute yourself, please. Mute, please. Here is the challenge. Here's the chance people can pause and whatever, right? They can screenshot, uh, they can screenshot it, and then here's the second part of the challenge. So if you are, you you guys are invited to participate in the challenge. Anyone who wants to win five thousand dollars can uh, achieve those points. All right, guys. So this is the after show of the Jose G. Gonzalez uh, live debate. So this is off of YouTube. Luckily, we had uh, another Glober join the Hangout, uh, Al K, and he actually captured, screen recorded the whole after show. And uh, he was kind enough to send me the file and now I could upload it here. So again, shout out to Al K. I'll put a link to his channel in the description below. And uh, I think this is better in many ways. The after show is better uh, than the live debate. So enjoy it.
because you see the sun is Aristarchus and the sun came in to being with the destruction of Aristarchus. Um, Aristarchus is the shit, sun, me. but hang on, Aristarchus is the tree of life, you see, and shit. we are part, Nothing we are part you of the tree of life. Nothing a coherent thought, dude. You're we speaking part of lies. Of You're speaking but delusion. Even Redfield and Arif that are flat earthers are thinking like, this guy is so lost. I know you guys are thinking that, just <laughs> letting it roll. If this is one so, of yours, asking, Red Pill. You no, get this it's guy. It's this is that, yours, it's motherfucker. It's 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 this is your it's world. As you come to Earth, tell me, as you come to tell me why the sun and the moon appear the same size. I'll give you my answer, and I better be, I bet you'd be better than your answer, Hawkins. And well, you get, sure. guess what, Red that's Pill? Sure. This guy has a higher IQ than you do. Because one is a reflection <laughs> of the other off of a watery backdrop. That makes no the only, sense. The only the distinct thing is the contour of that barrier, right? That shit it's makes way more of mirror, than the heliocentric. The contour of the mirror, just like mirrors in a hall of mirrors, can distort wonky. Uh, That's why uh, you are a dumb motherfucker, Red. Makes those. way more sense. Because you think that makes sense. You want to know why? Right, well, and I, I can go further than that. Sean, 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 and the yeah. round earth has scientific well, proof behind it. And he'll further explain you why. You are a motherfucker who thinks this Sean. makes more let sense than mine. Sean. You're a dumb let fuck, me dude. Sean. Let you me think explain. you're high IQ, but you're okay, stupid. Are you, you going to let me you're respond? You're fucking stupid. Or are you going to respond? You don't have how the homeless can So the reason that makes more sense. The reason that makes more sense. Let me respond. The reason that makes way more sense than the heliocentric model has to offer is because According to the heliocentric model, it all came out of nothing for no reason, without any instrumentation, without any order. It was just random, and it just so happens they appear to be the same size. That is just, retarded. You don't even know the fucking. You don't even retarded. know the heliocentric retarded. model, dude. Retarded. You don't that's know the model. That's not retarded. actually the heliocentric model. Retarded. You don't know the. You don't know the heliocentric retarded. model. They are quoting. Retarded. You don't know that, what that, you're that's talking about. That's not actually that. That's not actually even the heliocentric model. So you don't even moon. know what the heliocentric guys, model guys, is. Am I really supposed <laughs> to believe that the sun and the moon just so happen to be in the perfect distances, the perfect sizes, differentiated from that, the vantage point that's of That's irrelevant. Right? That they look the same size. They, you know they have the same angular size. Go read the astronomy textbooks. They say the sun and the moon have the same angular size in the sky. Yeah, you're I'm telling me, that. you're telling me that, that, that just a coincidence that came out of nothing for no reason without any order. It was all random. You guys are crazy. So your, so your best proof against crazy. the most model is one, 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 yeah, one, one, one con. Yeah, why don't you that way? Crazy. Hang on, that don't mean proof of flat Earth. Hang on, hang on. That's only the beginning of the story. Prove it. Crazy. Don't talk. Hang on. Proof, motherfucker. We've given you. Sean, We've given you mountains and mountains of fucking evidence, uh, and you have denied it. it all. So now it's your fucking turn. It's not a conversation. Shut the fuck up. Prove it or shut the fuck up. All you have is that. Prove it or shut the fuck up. All you have is that. All you got is that. We have a mountain of fucking evidence. You don't belong here, man. Get out of here. You got dick. You got dick, and you know it. And you can't. You, um, and you know it because you're fucking talking over me, asshole. Get out of here, you know, shit. You're, so you're talking over me. Get out of here, God. Keep proving your point. Keep proving my point, motherfucker. Why are you so angry, Get Sean? Here. Keep proving my point, motherfucker. Stop shouting. You're so uncivil. Keep this proving is the it. First, hang on. This is the first page, or first page in a chapter, right? So when you, I, about two years ago, I found the Milky Way that we experienced the Milky Way swathe in the sky uh, imprinted on the moon, right? And when you... No, uh, you didn't. No, so you Hawkins, fucking did Hawkins, not. You didn't look Quit into lying. what I found. Quit lying, Pete. No, you <laughs> fucking did not. You think you did because right. you're a fucking mental case. Okay, let you me see. I think I did. Shit. You suffer from extreme pareidolia. Sean, That's your you problem, like, oh, man. You need Sean, professional Sean. mental health. John, you look like the racist skinhead from Shut American the fuck History up, X. You, shit. you look like the you racist skinhead from Nazi American fuck. History X, dude. You've proven you're a Nazi fuck. Oh, yeah, You've I'm a Nazi. It. You've everyone proven you're a Nazi, with is a Nazi fucking sexist every, piece of shit. Everyone I disagree with is a Nazi. 
Dude, you've proven it in your fucking question. videos, asshole. Shut up, dumbass. Hawkins, you've Hawkins, proven this it in your videos, asshole. Hawkins, Hawkins, get over this is the conversation. Keep it down, man. Let me Keep have, it down. Let me you don't have to keep coming in going, you don't believe this. This is me explaining where I'm coming question. from, right? And my thoughts. So don't come in and say, that's not so. Yeah, Just you're coming from a fucking mental institution, Pete. That's where you're coming from. You're coming from Periodolia. You're a dumb fuck, Pete. Thoughts, yeah. You need mental help. Leave then. You leave. need mental help. You need to leave and leave, go to a man. fucking psychiatric, psychiatric institution and get fucking professional help, dude. Hey, you Sean, are mentally you're talking, ill. Man. You're Sean, sick, does, dude. Hey, Sean, does mainstream science have an explanation for why the sun and moon appear to be the same size? Like, what are the odds of that happening in a random universe? It doesn't I matter. Can't explain the fucking odds, asshole. It, it, is. Absolutely, it absolutely matters. It, it's it, no, it doesn't. It does it's a ridiculous. Not. It must be devastating to your model. Not. It's devastating to your model, Sean. And, you and was I it's actually it's no devastating? It's, 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 no close to, it's, it's nowhere no. close to being devastating. <laughs> See, if you knew the fucking globe model, if you knew the heliocentric model, you'd understand that. Oh, but you're just a low IQ. Oh, no, I understand your ad hoc model. If you don't have any other arguments than a coincidence, then you don't have much. Well, oh, no, no, Lori. Right. See, Lori, that's a just simple misrepresentation, Lori. I, I didn't say that's the only arguments I have. It's just one good point that, to me, suggests there's a massive hole in the uh, in the globe model. Yeah, I mean, that's just that's yeah, a, that's a crazy coincidence. They appear to be the same size, even though it all happened randomly for no reason, separated by 400, uh, 400 times the distance, but also 400 times bigger. Just just insane coincidence. You, no one can deny that's a crazy coincidence for it to have happened for no reason. Um, then also the fact that you can have a horizon on a flat plane because vision literally creates vanishing lines, just like a horizon is a vanishing line on a sphere because the sphere horizon is actually the leading edge of a bolt. So you can't see what's on the other side. Coincidence, coincidence, coincidence. And what it suggests to me, guys, is that somebody has the globe model is an ad hoc hijacking of what's really there. And then yeah. they, they've created a model out of what's really there. Yeah. Perspective. Yeah. Perspective. Well, um, my response to that would actually be your first point, your first point regarding the sun and the moon, uh, that could be just coincidence. And actually, given how vast the universe is and how many things are happening simultaneously, coincidences will happen. So you right, have you to have grant to that sometimes coincidences point. will happen. No, now, no now, right. on camera now, there, yeah. now moving on to the other points, uh, we can actually debunk your points about the horizon and perspective and the rest of it. So if you don't have uh, anything else, and we can actually no, debunk it. the rest you of your shit. Dude, we can actually Rumpus debunk. literally shut up. So, Rumpus shut up and uh, disappeared. Yeah. Rumpus actually, shut up and uh, disappeared because he could debunk. He couldn't refute me. Rumpus well, shut up and disappeared. Hey, well, <laughs> red pill, red pill, red pill. You <laughs> think you caused uh, that let red pill? Actually, you let me think actually you're smart enough that. to shut let up the Rumpus? Let me actually Rumpus? address that. <laughs> Let me actually address that. Uh, no, stupid. Everything coming from these non Someone people. shutting up in a conversation is not a bad. Someone shutting up in a conversation is not a valid logical point. You only act for the so camera. This is you all say Rumpus shut up. Is that scientific proof? Rumpus shut up. Scientific proof. What is that? You, you say Rumpus shut, Rump Rump shut up in a conversation. Do you? You say Rumpus shut up. Sorry, I never you think that Rumpus shut up is not a point. It's a non-point. Uh, Harry, who are you defending? What are you defending? Where's your, where's your critical uh, right? Stupid shit. I'm just, I'm just playing the game. I pill. What they don't want, what they don't want is people like me or you cooperating and a greater picture than of our true reality coming out. They want to bring us back to square one and every hand's turn. And that's why they're here wasting their time telling us shit we already knew already, right? Hey, Red Pill, if you got, if you have a model, if you have explanations for reality, for your reality that better explain ours, feel free, man. Spill it. Come on, let's hear it. Yeah, we, we have it. It's obvious. No, it's not. <laughs> it's no, not that's obvious. not oh, an yeah. answer. What, yeah, what you just, do you, you have to how do you, you think, to, you just how have do to you think something can vanish over the horizon? Are you saying, are you saying we have to be live or be live? Your Eliza's globe model is a 2000 year old backed by the establishment ad hoc hoax. So it's pretty well, at tight. least at least you got at least you got how old the model is correct. It's they actually a little older. Older. So, 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 1500 years. Uh, 
actually, you can technically go back to like 2,500 years with Pythagoras. You can go a little further back. No, I, I red pill. You can go back to Aristarchus. All, 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 all fucking isn't it funny isn't that all that Aristarchus is back broken. by the establishment? Isn't it funny that according to the scientific all scientific discovery is backed by the establishment? Right. Red stop, pill? stop using the word science. Wizard spell. Stop using the word science. Do you think that all scientific theories? Do you think that all I see you past think that all scientific field. theory has Red been field. Field. Is the is not real. Real. Do you think that all scientific theory has not been in conformity with the science of the spell? I'm not going to talk about that. There are no wizards here. No ever. ever. I don't know. Keep fucking doing it. If you want to hear what I fucking say, let me speak. I reject your premise, Sean. Then shut hey, the Red, up and let me talk. Well, I'm doing a, I might do a hangout in a bit. You're welcome on for a discussion, man. Um, Fuck PJ, you. PJ Dodo hangout. Fuck you, and Pete. I went to, I, Quit you know, interrupting I, people, Pete. I went to the reasons I Quit found out. Quit interrupting people, Pete. Oh, God, in you're start, talking, Pete. I was talking, talking and you interrupted me, Pete. Right, 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 shut yeah, the that, fuck up, Pete. Pete. Yeah, what, what no, was that? You've Pete? got a way to describe anything on your on in this world that's better than uh, what we can with our reality, with our uh, fucking science and math. Yeah, uh, go ahead, be my uh, guest, but you well, can't. Well, all you have is doubt. Shut the fuck up! You're interrupting me. All you have is your fucking doubt and your uh, arguments breathe. out of incredulity and your arguments breathe. out of ignorance. Breathe. See, you can't fucking listen to other people because you can't. No. Stand up to a fucking point of view. Dude, you're a um, fucking worthless waste. Just shouting, dude. I'm not sure uh, whether Red, Red Bill is just a poll or if he's actually... Well, this is what you guys IQ. tell yourselves. You can't prove that. your shit, Red this Bill. You, you have to talk to over that. other people just like this. You guys, you guys you like... Can't you can't prove you what you have, have to this. say, so you just talk and fill the space. You guys have this. Just wild. like this. Just you like you this. want... Just like just like Nathan Oakley's hangout, you like everything to be like Nathan Oakley just because like you're Michael ignorant. Flatter, you can't you, prove a point. Like you Flatter, can't discuss like anything Michael logically Flatter, and organize, or in any organized fashion. Just so like you Michael just Flatter, have to talk over people. Like that's what Flatter, I'm doing to you like right Flatter. now. I think criticizing. I think criticizing fight for Apple. being too like too. Flatter, who mutes his opponents seventy times. I've been I really fighting fight for doing that shit. What the fuck are you comparing him to me for? Anyway, Did I ever mention any other person? What were you saying, Lord? <laughs> uh, I I have been criticizing really fight for doing that shit as well. We have well, that no, already on the flat earth side as well. We're saying something before that, but whatever. Now, uh, what's I your don't answer? Remember are you going to debate me on this channel with Jose moderating? Um, why are you afraid to debate me, you coward? No, I'm not. I'm I'm challenging you to a debate here. No, no, no. You channel. ran away from my debate, you okay. coward. No, dude. Hey, I challenge you to a debate. Are you challenging me to a debate? I said, yeah, okay, we'll do it on we'll do it on uh, non sequitur. He said, no, I'm not non sequitur. You cannot debate me man to man. Why would you live stream talk shit You're about man to man? we will be man to man on this channel. You're a day moderating. John, you pussied out big time. Anyway, you were, oh, yeah, you were saying sorry. that Man Lori, to you. Lori was saying Jose's on the channel with him moderating. Yes that, or no? Yes or no, bitch made. Lori, this whole thing yes that I'm no, a bitch made. hilarious. Yes or no, bitch made. Yes or no, bitch made. A conspiracy yes theory. Yes or that no, cocked, bitch made. By butthurt losers yes like or Hoffman. no. Because they can't possibly accept the fact that people are waking yes up. Yes or no, bitch made. And it's stunning. Yes or no. It's truly it's stunning. A simple question. You already said no, pussy. Yes or no. You already said no, pussy. No. Yes or no. This I is a sent question you a link, you. coward. You didn't click the link, pussy. <laughs> no, because I will not debate on your channel oh, and I won't debate on my channel fine. either. Mine. I don't I'll debate on. I don't debate on a person's I'll channel. Let, I'll let you create the hangout. Debate. I'll let you create the hangout. How about that? <clears throat> I won't debate on my channel either because uh, it's not moderated. Need a fucking babysitter. If we have it on my channel, that I have Team Skeptic or Jose. Oh, uh, if I have a babysitter, yeah. Yeah, because you're a fucking moron yeah, and you can't yeah, stand yeah, up yeah, and yeah. me. Yeah. 
without hey. talking over someone. Corey, you asked if That's I'm a been poet. proven, dude. Corey, you you cannot stand up to scrutiny. Corey, you asked if I'm a poet, right? You can't stand up to scrutiny. So you have Corey, to talk over Corey, other people. And you can't stand order. <laughs> you have to go on Nathan Oakley's channel. Corey, that's a ridiculous conspiracy theory, man. Why do you guys believe in conspiracy wow. theories? <laughs> so you're a coward. So dude. Funny. You're a coward. Oh, you're a pool's of poe. Oh, what a conspiracy coward. theory. They are. What a conspiracy theory. You're proving it right yeah, the fuck now. You're a conspiracy theorist, Sean. You're, you're proving it right the fuck now. I can put my cup under his skin. You're a crackpot conspiracy theorist, Sean. I guess I got under your skin with that posing. No, I just think it's funny that you guys are a bunch of crackpot conspiracy theorists. I, think um, it's hilarious. I don't. I don't think. <laughs> what I think is funny is your whole think behavior. That I am deceiving people, so that is a conspiracy. I am um, not who I say I am. You you're actually a paranoid bunch, I must say. Well, your 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 channel is basically a comedy show. Well, yeah, that's what a glow tart would say. Easy to laugh at you, at. Um, yeah, yeah. I can understand. Uh, I can understand why you say you are high IQ, though. You can uh, laugh at science. You want to know why? You want to laugh at science. You can laugh at science. It's all good. Uh, do but you I, know? Do you want to know why? Do you want not hey, want is, to know why I I think? Is Zinder still there by any chance? Is Zinder still there? Uh, Zinder dropped his. Really? I still see his. Oh wait, that's the rumpus, dude. The rumpus is still, dude. I think he might have died, man. He may die. He I, may think Rump, I think Rumpus might have died. I, I might have slayed the Rumpus. I can't even believe this. It's funny because this morning I looked up the definition. Dude, Carlos, you look like a raging rapist. Really, dude? You got to go there? But you're like fucking glaring <laughs> into the camera, man. Does it work good? <laughs> no, it's, it work? It, 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 it's good. It's good. So we're still trying In case, to I was... still wait on your proof of flat earth, dude. <laughs> is everywhere john you're just denying it you're still not proving flat earth man and you're still presupposing you live on a sphere like pythagoras did 2500 no years. you still haven't proven flat earth no you know the globe is was originally well, floor a, your dude prove flat earth the globe was originally a presupposition it's well, Nathan, Nathan is presupposing <laughs> in the container. well no a container is the necessary antecedent to pressure the man. globe wasn't actually initially a pre really how do you have a you're talking you out of your ass Container. You're actually lying. Oh, uh, pressure gradients is this all the time in containers. That's why you have to shake a no, spray, yeah. shake a spray paint can to uh, to bring yeah. it together. It's really basic yeah. science. Basic science, Sean. You don't know basic science because you're a basic bitch. Okay. Well, let's be kind. Hey, that's a density this fun. Pressure this is fun, man. This is really fun. Well, so uh, you were saying the globe model was a presupposition initially. Where did you get that? Oh, it's 2,500 years old, Pythagoras. Now, unless you're going to suggest that 2,500 years ago, Pythagoras had conclusive proof we lived on a sphere, you can try to appeal to Flintstones, but I don't think that's how the history goes. Aristotle is given the credit uh, a couple hundred years after Pythagoras for having proved the globe. Pythagoras just pulled it out of his ass. He was apparently obsessed with spheres. Look it up. He was big about spheres. He had something called the... Uh, the, the music of the spheres. He was he was obsessed with spheres. Um, so uh, so basically, so, this yeah, is yeah, your theory. Your theory, theory, theory that it's the your theory, theory that it was a presupposition. And here's the problem: when something starts off as a presupposition, that pretty much can guarantee that all the proof that comes after it is ad hoc. Meaning, you start with the assumption and then you try to smash your that's evidence. Actually, into that's actually completely false. Uh, no, no. So basically, no, this it, is. It this is, is your theory of history. Is this is your theory about how history works. But do you have actual evidence for it, like historical documents, anything? Um, you didn't have evidence? For what precisely? For the fact, for your claim that the globe was first a presupposition. Because, see, my point of view is people at that time would have observations like ships disappearing behind, behind and so on. So, yeah, it was not a presupposition. Well, I have um, fucking idiot. There's a, there's a Wikipedia page, and unless this was, <laughs> oh, well, well, Wikipedia has sources at the bottom. But uh, if if you guys don't trust authoritative uh, sources like Wikipedia, uh, that was not uh, that was not actually why I laughed. Oh, okay. Anyways, 
Um, there's a Wikipedia page, and uh, it actually says that uh, Pythagoras, um, he was obsessed with spheres, and he thought that the reason we lived on a sphere is because if the gods were going to create uh, a earth to be any shape, they would create it a sphere because the gods were perfect, and Pythagoras thought spheres were a perfect shape. Um, and he was debating, he was debating other people at the time, like Homer. Apparently, Homer was arguing for a flat disc. Homer's uh, no, not Homer. It's like ancient Greek people. Uh, Homer was <laughs> he was apparently arguing for a flat disc, but Pythagoras was like, no, it's a sphere because the gods love because the gods are perfect. So I mean, you atheists love believing in the sphere, but the guy who concocted it, conceived it, believed in numerous gods. So it's really ironic, and I love that. Well, that's actually just how ancient philosophy work, works because science, as we now understand it, didn't exist back then. So a lot of people were thinking like the Greek philosophers weren't actually uh, rigorous scientists. Like they had, for example, Aristotle's model of why things fall was because things have an innate desire. Like if rocks have a soul that wants to be in the ground. Uh, that's just how people thought at the time. Yeah. Uh, so, sure, you can go after the globe model and so don't, so don't you work think, for you. It, but it's, it's it's basically, it's a cowardly argument because everyone was losing that so kind of don't thinking. You think, don't you think it's time to stop being like, well, the Greeks knew it was a sphere thousands of years ago. Well, they believed in multiple gods. They believed that fucking rocks had spirits. So <laughs> that's a hey, cowardly argument. Fair enough. That's yeah, a but, cowardly uh, argument. Fair enough. Let's use yeah, current but, stuff like satellites and rockets. Yeah. Yeah. We have, much, yeah we, we have much more than just the Greeks. So we have much more than. Yeah. So what about the imaging? We are not only satellites. relying on the Greeks. Hey, did, you, did you guys. What, know, what you about guys? the observations of the ISS and other satellites, other things in the sky? What about okay, that? I'll, okay, I'll, give, I'll give you an answer in a moment. But let me just say one last thing about the Greeks. Go ahead. You know, the nature abhors a vacuum. That's a popular phrase. It's attributed to Aristotle. Aristotle thought a vacuum including the vacuum of space, which was people were bouncing the idea around at the time. Aristotle was completely against the idea of a vacuum of space. He, he said nature abhors a vacuum, and it's attributed to Aristotle. And it's ironic because when you ask the average Glover, who, who found out the Earth was a sphere? Who proved it? They always point to Aristotle, and it's three, sometimes four. So people misattribute hey, three or I'm four. I'm going over the curve. I know, it's incredible, man. Everywhere you look, you just curve. If you want to find it, you'll find it. Okay. Oh, uh, you like to quote people. Sorry, Carlos. You like to quote people, right? Um, there's there's one guy that says the uh, the Earth is round. It has gravity. Uh, and you quote him. So, yeah. Uh, uh, what's with that, dude? Yeah, you guys don't understand why I do that. I'm, I mean, do you guys? You do that because you cherry pick. No, because you you're intellectually dishonest, dude. No, you're, That's you're why an... you do it. Stop and come on, man, relax, dude. Listen. The reason I, the the reason right I, the... Let me answer. Let me answer. The reason I do that, where I say, "Oh, Neil deGrasse Tyson says you can't see curvature from 128,000 feet," then you idiots come in and say, "What do you also think to the sphere?" You don't even understand why I'm doing this. The reason I do that is because you guys operate by consensus. That's how you guys operate. That's how Fight the Flat Earth comes That's on. That's actually not wait, how, wait, 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 how it finish. works. You guys operate by consensus. I'm letting you finish. So every time your consensus contradicts itself, it's devastating for you guys. That's why I do it. I don't you know. know. The reason you do it is because it makes you money on a T-shirt, dude, because you're gotcha. all about the money. You have no interest in finding oh, truth. Right. You have no interest in oh, finding the reality. Way. You have no interest in finding oh, facts. Okay. Here's you are red pill to pay the bill 100. By the way, by the way, red pill. Um, for re you're a shill. You're a and fraud. Can you see theory from Sean? By the way, red pill, red pill, red pill. You were actually oh, lying because we do not. Red pill. Can you listen? Uh, you you were actually know. lying. I think uh, can you listen to me? For money, you guys are paranoid, man. Conspiracy. Can you let me make a point? Uh, uh, can you listen to me? Uh, you were actually Donald lying. Thinks Donald uh, Trump is can you, alien son. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Can you let me actually make a fucking point? Because I'm not Sean Hawkins and I can actually talk. And, and uh, So 
you were actually lying when you said we operate by consent. That's not what we do. That's intellectually dishonest and you're misrepresenting our side. You're using a straw man. Buddy boy, it is what you do. And if it's not what you do, you're the exception to the globe cult. Because fight the flat earth. Um, that uh, fight, let me, uh, fight the flat earth will start a debate and say, because I have the scientific consensus, which is basically just popular vote. Everybody agrees, so it must be true. Because I have the consensus, the burden of proof is on you, flat earther. So you guys are using consensus to literally establish the playing field in debate. So you guys worship consensus. Don't pretend that you guys don't do that. You might be the exception, Lori, but that is how you guys operate. By consensus is what you guys do. You don't understand debate, dude. That's John the problem. And ask, look, here's, here's, here's an example about how consensus is ridiculous. Uh, just a couple months ago, science, scientific consensus um, changed how far the atmosphere extends out to. And before that number changed, you know, you, you Globers would have died defending that consensus. But then the consensus changed. And now you guys will die to defend the new number. And the number can change again, and everything can change. Uh, so it's so just, yeah, that's how so science works with yep. new discoveries. But we never. My response to that would be um, my response would to that would be when science discovers new evidence. And yeah, you guys are going to fall into that's a, big a positive. You guys are about to fall into a big trap. Watch your words. Go ahead. Can you Let's actually? Can trap. you actually listen to me and not talk over me? Mm -hmm. When ahead, science discovers that. something new. And when science changes its opinion, that's a good thing because religions and dogmas and false beliefs and false belief systems fall like into a trap where like they atheism. do not right. change like their stuff. Right, like atheism, right? Yeah, yeah. And there are Christian globe globers, so I'm not sure why you keep bringing atheism. Well, no, I mean, the, main, the primary defenders of the globe are atheists, but yeah. I'm actually a Christian myself. So. Well, I don't care. I'm talking about the main, the main guys, all atheists. Like, like it's shocking. No, it's so, shocking. No, uh, my, po my point is, my, my point it's is, when science changes, when science changes its mind, when new observations come in, and science changes. That's a fucking right. good thing. What would you oh, expect, no man? No shit. That's what the would you whole, expect? That's the flat Earth argument, bro. Would, would you expect argument. science? Would you Earth expect argument. science to? Would you expect science to stay the same and deny reality? You fucking moron! You're making up Sorry. points for us. Sorry, Science you... changes Sorry. its opinion, and that's Sorry. a good thing. You freaking Sorry. idiot! You, you talk about like dishonesty, and di you're being so disingenuous right now. That is literally I'm not, what flat earthers are saying. <laughs> flat earthers are literally saying that no, science but is then... wrong. Hey, let me finish now. Science has got yeah, it I'm, wrong. I'm, I'm letting. Science has got it wrong. This is what flat earthers are saying. That science has got it yeah. wrong, sure. and that there may be another answer. So why are you saying that I'm saying that's an issue? That's literally what I am saying. Uh, that because because I'm actually not, that's what... Listen, listen. I'm not criticizing. Not sure. I'm not criticizing that science can be wrong and then gets it right. Well, no shit. That's what, that's what flat earthers are saying. They're saying that's what me as a globe skeptic is saying. That the yeah, current yeah. consensus could be wrong. So let's keep our minds open and question the consensus. Yeah, but then yeah, like the yeah. flat earth sweeps in and says, I have all the people on my side, so you stupid yeah, flat earth, yeah, yeah. it's up to me. So that, that's the uh -huh. issue. And listen, literally, the fact that science gets things wrong is the, found, it's the foundation of the flat earth uh, uh, skepticism question. Oh. So I, I don't even disagree with you. That's a crisis for your side, because you guys are the consensus, and you guys... <laughs> You guys think that if it contradicts consensus, um, it, 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 it must be wrong by definition. Discovering because, something uh, new doesn't mean what, what we didn't – doesn't mean that the way it was is wrong. Right, Sean Hawkins, you fell into my trap. Thank you. I knew one of you idiots would. Now listen, I'll explain what it's, the big it's trap hard, is. It, it's hard not to talk over you when you talk for like uh, five that's, minutes. That's fine. Uh, that's fine. So Sean Hawkins uh, fell into my trap if, predictably. If, if, let Sean me Hawkins, let me actually actually ask you. Sean a question. Hawkins uh, predictably fell in my trap. So let me explain. So she let, guys, let so me you, actually so ask this, you. This a what question. Happens. When you guys actually finally concede that okay, fine, science does get things wrong, 
but we are only building up. This is what Fight the Flat Earth said the other day. We just build upon. We never, <laughs> we never have to, we never have to uh, throw everything sorry, out. I'm getting, I'm have, getting to the uh, Let me finish. Let me finish. I'm almost done. We never have to throw everything out and start over. Oh shit! That's exactly what we did with the heliocentric model. Yeah, and uh, see, here's my problem with that. We had Every to throw reason why you out. Throw, yes. we no, had no, to no, throw no, 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 no. Out. Let me actually. Uh, uh, it's okay. It's okay. So let me actually talk. Uh, it's okay. We yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Out. Go ahead. Let so the steam out. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Can you model, can you let me talk? The heliocentric model gets uh, to throw everything out to start a new paradigm. Okay. Flat okay. Earth yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Paradigm. So is, is the is the floor clear now? Can I finally talk? Are you clear now? Have you said any everything? See, my Stop. objection to that Stop, is man. reason. Reason why? <laughs> are you going to let me fucking talk or not? You're so silly. I'm telling uh, you the, see, the reason. Man. The reason. Okay, I'm going to talk. Whether you're going to let me. I'm telling uh, see, you. My talk. my objection. <laughs> my objection to you to that whole fucking point is the okay. It's fine. Let's rethink. Let's rethink. Okay, fine. But. But the reasons why you rethought the whole heliocentric model and threw out the Earth model and went to flat Earth were fucking bullshit, you fucking idiot. You followed a fucking cult based on a fucking silly idea. So we have a fucking yeah. good reason to criticize you for it because you're being fucking ridiculous. Like, uh, we can sorry. actually question things, then we can build models for and good reasons, but when you throw out good things and base fucking stupid ridiculous shit on it, we need to criticize that fucking new ridiculous shit that you picked up because it looks good because it's outside the box and you get some fucking ego kick out. No, I mean, yeah, I mean, everything should be criticized. That includes your model. That includes any flat Earth uh, proposals. Yeah, and that's that's uh, why that's uh, why we punk your side all the time. Yeah, again, that's literally the flat Earth argument that we should be allowed to question dogmas. It's, so, it's fine. Yeah, to me, it's fine if someone goes to flat Earth, but then we can just go after it and debunk it like we have done. So that's that's where I stand. So uh, Red Pill, getting back to what I was saying originally, is uh, where is your proof of flat Earth? Because you've shown none. Well, the burn of proof is on you. No, it's not. Oh, no. let me guess. It's on. Okay, okay. This is a good topic. We need to explore this one. So the burn You're of challenging. Proof you're challenging established science. You're Consent. challenging 2,000 years Consent. of established, Consent. established Consent. science. Right, consensus. So the burden of proof is on you to no, disprove no. that. Does, tr does consensus equal truth? See, now you're proving that you don't know oh, fuck, oh, you don't know the fuck all about that. The question. Does consensus equal truth? Consensus is, Consensus grants us the, 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 the uh, uh, benefit of the doubt. In an argument, consensus grants us the benefit of the doubt. So, in an so argument, so you have the burden of proof. So that's a no. Consensus equals the best model asset. So you have to present so the better a no, model. Right? You, that's sure. a no, yes. right, moron? Yes. And, Thanks. and from, Thanks, from, a, from, an epistemolog from an epistemological and science philosophical standpoint, it has to be. So now that the current have, model now is not necessarily the truth. Now that we know and we've established that consensus does not equal truth, because consensus always changes, as you guys should know by now, then in a debate to determine truth, why should consensus be the determining factor on who has the burden of proof? Because Good that's the rules of fucking luck, debate, asshole. moron. Good luck, asshole. Let me actually. Rules. Good luck, assholes. Those are the fucking rules. Look it up. Fuck you. I have a, you I have a very, moron. that's, that's a very you easy. You don't find me anywhere where who does and doesn't have the burden of proof is like written in a hand in an official like county handbook or something. That yeah, whoever written has in the sense. fucking law, dude. That's how law sense. works. It's crazy, that's man. Debate that's, work. That's it's written down. It's, it's established. 
You fucking dumb shit. You don't know fuck all, dude. You think you're some high IQ? There is a, there is a very you easy answer, answer to your question. My God high IQ, damn, man. You're in dumber than right dog now. shit. See my high IQ in action right now, You John. are dumber than fucking dog shit, dude. You brought my IQ up out of nowhere because you see it in action right now, buddy. No, you bring it up every time you buddy, fucking boy. open your mouth, dude. Anyways, you're a fucking dumb is, shit. That was fantastic. You're to a get dumb that. fuck. You're an You're empty drum. No content, this all noise. Not equal truth. I mean, that finally, it was great to get that finally. When you done. Red That's pill. The fucking rules of debate, asshole. Red like, pill. Like Monopoly. You can't just make up your own fucking rules for Monopoly if you want. Nah. Those are the rules. Nah, you love, Those you are love. the fucking rules. Yes, and whether you, you like there it is or a, not. There is a very oh. easy answer to his question. There is a very easy answer to his question reason why the consensus is the preferred model is because it has already gone through the freaking process I and didn't it say has it's already received. I said uh, burn the proof. I said burn the proof. Why does consensus get, why, why does the person challenging consensus get the arbitrary burn of proof put on them in your stupid little debates? Why because have you, why have you, my answer actually applies to that very issue. Because the current model already has gone through the burden of proof and the proving process. So you and guys there is support, already you guys a mountain of evidence for it. You why guys do you support. Get, why you guys why support. do you have to change batteries you when you get the support, strike, dude? You guys support the persecution of Galileo. Thanks. Why do you Why do you have <laughs> to switch batteries that's actually when a person a gets the strike? Why do you support the persecution of Galileo? When a you person gets the strike. The persecution of Galileo. Great. Why See, do you have that's to what you have to go after. You get You're being childish and your stroming now. You guys support if that's the what you have of Galileo who challenged yeah. consensus. If, Why if, do if you that, have to if that's what you have to go for? Three strikes. Just because Why? everybody Why do you have agrees. To switch batters if you get three strikes. Just because everybody agrees. Rules of the game. Because everybody on you, asshole. Everybody agrees. Red pill. Red pill. It's not making sure. Red pill. I'm sorry, Red Bill. that's what poor old Galileo had to Red suffer. Bill. The consensus Bill, Earth calling. at the time. The consensus Red at the time. How Bill. dare, how dare Red you. Bill. Red Bill, Red Bill, Red Bill, let me see. He's an empty drum. He's an empty drum. No content, all noise. Thank you. Red Bill, can you let me actually speak? Did any of us actually say did any of us actually say? Did any of us actually say that, that we support the persecution of anyone? Yeah, you. Think or is that, that actually? Or is that actually a straw man oh, argument right. on your part? Is answer. that a straw man argument that you have to go after because you have been punked in this debate and your ego cannot handle it, and then you no. have to go and bring up stupid straw man arguments? We didn't say persecution of anyone was okay. So you are fucking using fucking stupid silly Stroman arguments and uh, you fucking have to stop doing that in uh, debates like this because uh, fucking ridiculous accent uh, owning silly Finnish people will all you like I'm owning uh, you right uh, now. Just finish the sentence. He's a walking, here. talking, logical fallacy. So, yeah, just stupid, man. Just my point was, 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 my point was. We are not actually promoting persecution. And if that's what you have to go for, Sorry. then you are fucking dishonest. Lori, let me explain it to you Thank again. Because you. you're, you're intellectually dishonest. Let me explain it. Hang on. Let me respond to Lori. Hang on. I so, don't need you to explain it to me. Because I, I, saw, I see it clearly. I see clearly through John you. John Hawkins conceded that consensus does not equal truth and thus... Well, no, you guys still think that the burden of proof is <laughs> This is actually funny because I now have to try to listen to you pick your hole up out of that oh. Roman argument that you know Sorry, you made. Sorry, now you're just like patting yourself on the oh, back. And it's okay, like yeah, yeah. Anybody well, else actually, have I an actual have, argument? But I, can, Anybody, I can give you the floor. If Al, you want uh, to speak, I can give you the floor. Who's the water guy? Al. Al was trying to say something earlier. The water guy. Uh, I would actually like to see you dig out Dig yourself out of that hole if you can. You actually no, hear no, me? you're just imagining holes, dude. You're, you're he can't dig himself out because he's an idiot. Anyways, I thought I heard Al trying to say something. 
So I, I actually got Red Pill to be silent in this debate. Is Red Pill dead now? He's silent now. Wow, I'm I think a you broke Red dude Pill. With a silly there. fucking accent, we broke Red Pill. You broke Red Pill, Lori. You shut him the <laughs> fuck up. That means you're that. wrong, right? That means you're a fucking you wow, shit, just like you think. Globe you model when we shut up, Red Pill. Right? Red Pill, right, you right. have been blue pilled. <sighs> Yes, yes, yes. Anyway, so, so again, red pill. Prove the flat earth or shut the fuck up. No one gives a shit about uh, your burn, 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 logical fallacies. Burn, 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 prove what you say or burn, shut the burn, fuck burn, up. Burden of proof is on you guys, unfortunately. Burger of proof. Why? Why is the burden of proof on us? Don't talk about burgers. I'm hungry, man. Yeah, we proved it. The burden we have of proven proof it. On now it's your red turn. Uh, the burden of proof Why? is on you guys. Um, we have yeah, proven it. Was... Sorry. You're just too fucking stupid to understand. I'm, so I'm just trying to get a word in through Sean's incoherent shouting. Um, yeah, the burden of proof is on you guys because, first of all, uh, consensus doesn't equal truth. So I'm not intimidated by your pat on the back, popularity, uh, uh, trendiness. So none of that matters. So um, that equals truth. Evidence? Well, well, truth equals truth. Um, proof. If you, can, if, you, if you can get <laughs> some proof. Does evidence, does evidence equal truth as if well? If you can get some proof, but now you guys are saying there's no such thing as proof. So that's great. That means there's no there's no, there's no, no scientific proof for the heliocentric model according to you guys. Now. There's no, there's no scientific, scientific proof, proof for the flat earth model. Either. Right, right. You, you guys, understand one you goddamn guys, thing presented to you, do you? Guys have been pushed up against the wall so bad you now have to wake up every morning look in the mirror and say there's no scientific mm. proof for the heliocentric model so much fallacious shit being <laughs> said just now that's us what it is well this is not true no there's no scientific <laughs> proof there's no such thing as scientific proof Rumpus said it so um but that's because you guys have been pushed back up against the wall um, and you so have to know it's because science doesn't prove things, it eliminates possibilities. You've had to <laughs> raise the bar of proof so high that there's no. This is just an ego. This is just a oh red pill ego show. This is just about his ego, man. He's patting himself on the not, back. Oh, God. You guys he, just all he has is his fucking logical fallacies and his fucking empty drum. Okay, so what was the question we were just talking about? It was... Uh, this... We can go to actual uh, science epistemology oh. and talk about if there actual is, actually is proof, if you care. But oh, I know you no. cannot handle I'm, I'm actual willing, real debate I'm, like that. I'm willing to accept that there's no such thing as scientific proof. I think that's great for the globe skeptics because it uh, it's a major, it's a giant chink in the globe tar. yeah but, but could you imagine could you imagine but, going to public could you imagine going to public school but, imagine sitting in earth science class for the first time you're but, in eighth grade earth science class they hand you a big ass public school textbook you open but, up a big picture of a sphere and then in big white words on the sphere it says there's no scientific proof for this i'll <laughs> gladly accept that buddy i'm right on board there oh god no scientific proof Give it so it. I love it. Yep, so that would be devastating uh, for the globe if millions of public school children now walk through the world and said, oh, it isn't just established fact that we live on a globe. There's no such thing as scientific proof. That would be devastating for the globe because it would get people to start thinking. God damn, you're a moron. It's you really are a dumb motherfucker. <laughs> Sean, just Jesus know, Christ, relinquish so... atheism. You Sean. just fucking, you just, you're like a game of a horse. You're like a game of add-on. Anything else? He guys? uses, he adding uses on the honesty. He uses it. the you honesty. Anything else, guys? He uses friend. the honesty. He uses the honesty on the globe side against it because we Anything actually else, are realistic about what correct. scientific. God, we are actually realistic about what science can do. Anything and else? And he tries to use correct. that against us. Anything to me, else, it's, to me it's ridiculous. Me, it's ridiculous to use the realistic nature of science and how we are actually realistic in about what what it can actually do. It's complete uh, bullshit uh, to use that you, against us. I'm you silly board. person. I'm already. <laughs> you, I'm on board for there's no. You're such thing such a silly proof. person, man. I'm on board. So I got a bounce. Uh, Let's go. Challenge is still on, Red Pill. Challenge is still on. I got a bounce. Uh, 
debate, hook it up with those and get them them to fucking uh, organize it and he'll tell me whether you're bitch mate or not. Rage (laughs) quitter. One down. Actually, that's two because Rumpus died. (laughs) I've just come back. Holy shit. Rumpus. Can you actually hear my mic? Yeah, I can hear you all. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Thanks for letting us know, guys. I've tried a couple of times and nobody even fucking responded. What's up, Carlos? Uh, Chingo, I got I got the proof right here. Look, this is a Pelican case. I guarded it really good. Familiar with a Pelican case? Not really. All right, so let me just open it up for you here. All right, here we go. Here's the proof. Ah, shoot. What? Make you look. All right, I'm very confused now, Carlos. Um, <laughs> very confused now. So there was a couple of points I wanted to say about some of the things you've said. Just two things mainly. One well, listen, is, I got to get going a little bit. Well, only started, take two seconds. But I'll, I'll entertain a couple of questions. You were trying to make the case that there's no reason for you to have burden of proof. But you also want to claim that you're challenging the current paradigm and usher in a new one. So can you explain how you would actually change a paradigm without providing some kind of proof or evidence. Um, you have to make the case with something, not you, with nothing. Uh, could you restate like the first half of what you said? You're trying to deny that you have any kind of burden of proof, but you're challenging an existing paradigm. Okay. You believe that paradigm to be false, but whether it's false or true, in order to challenge it and to and push in another paradigm, how do you do that without providing proof? Yeah, well, it, it's not that I don't think I have any burden of proof. It's that I definitely don't think it's entirely on flat earthers. So, because so, that's what I keep hearing from a lot of the top tier globe defenders. All the burden of proof is on the flat earthers. Uh, no, if you I, if you have a contrary position, you have to justify the con. You can invalidate. You don't have to. You don't have to prove your position. You just have to be able to invalidate our position, and you can't. And your demonstration of your complete and utter okay, lack of understanding. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Your complete and you've demonstrated a complete lack of understanding of perspective in this. You don't understand Sorry, any Robert, of the geometry or the math. That's so true. I'm afraid you don't have any counter argument other than your wishful thinking. Robert, where did you go for an hour? I'm curious. I was so annoyed with Jose yet again sabotaging my explanation. He, Jose, was it Lemonbird came along, and just as I was in the middle of demonstrating what perspective was, Jose said, "No, I want to hear from Lemonbird now." And he's done that to me about four or five times. So I was just so annoyed. I just sod it then. You know, I'm off then. If you can't, bl- okay. he never allows me to speak for more than about two minutes. Okay, I, was, I wasn't sure if I had slain the rumpus because you, no, you, you kind of disappeared in the middle of that insanely yeah, I was giving you a demonstration that and insane, then that insanely disingenuous that so insanely disingenuous thing with the angles and the little eyeball is so disingenuous well, that could, well, yeah. you, need, you don't understand geometry that's your problem yeah, okay, you the, this is the problem with people who no, don't it's, it's not geometry it's perspective you don't understand geometry wait a minute Pers- perspective is geometry. geometry. Perspective is geometry. You can't separate the two. You don't understand basic geometry, yeah, and therefore you find yeah, it confusing. Yeah, yeah. But, you, 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 know. think you, you can't tell the difference between a valid argument and an invalid argument because you understand yeah. no geometry, you yeah, understand, like no, address, math, okay. you understand well, no reasoning, and you I'd just like have no useful thinking. That's all you've got. I would so, like to address okay. to you. I mean, okay, I mean, if you want to, I'm more than happy to go through you with the trigonometry and the geometry with you slowly step by step <laughs> so we can try and drag you into your sort of what you should have understood when you were about 15 which clearly you well, didn't well, know I, I and you somehow you had, missed, you you somehow missed your early teens education i, I wish you i wish you had a rage quit when i had you pinned up against the wall when do you the only thing what? <laughs> you deluded as well. The only thing have you picked up against the water? Hey, hey, let's go back to Alan Cable. Is that he allowed Lemonbird to speak over me? Which was you know, I, I, you know, I run out of memory on my computer, and I can't screen capture this anymore. And this could get really good, and so it's kind of unfortunate. But so this is relevant to geometry, is it? Anyway, so let's Al K real quick. So. So right, but, just, I, I, I basically gave you half. So of my you just answer. ignored the option of me explaining to you slowly. About no, no, no. But you interrupted. Al, you, you interrupted Al K. So I was like, Al K. Uh, well, I mean, okay, uh, so, uh, okay, you want to go ahead, okay? 
Ah, uh, well, I had asked a question and you'd started yeah, answering. Yeah, yeah, okay, something. yeah, my bad, my bad. Yeah, so, yeah, that, so basically what I said was that it's not that I don't think we have any burden proof, is that I don't think it's exclusively on flat earthers. And uh, it seems a justification for saying that all the burden of proof is on flat earthers no, is, that, is that Globers have the consensus. And I'm saying consensus does not equal truth. So consensus is a poor determining no. factor for who has burden of proof. No one claims it is. Right, but the they thing is... The geometry of it. Sorry, Al. Yes, yeah, well, that's what I see. See, the consensus... Go ahead, Al. The consensus Al. side of it comes from an accumulation of evidence. And a build up of knowledge, right? So it's not time. just we think this. Consensus is wrong all the time. That doesn't you mean know, that it's some, wrong. Some people, some people think by the default. Need consensus that the Earth was flat, and then look, it got tossed out. No, the it, no, I've never had consensus of that. No all right, problem. and that's disputed. Some right. people don't think that was true, even no, though it's even the, the ancient Greeks flat. knew it was round, so there's no consent. That no, no one in well, any stage of medieval Earth of uh, medieval history has well, ever thought it was round. Uh, sorry, flat. Um, hey, hey uh, Marcus, who, what, what, which ancient Greek proved the Earth was a sphere? Hold on, yeah. hold on, before I get off track, Aristarchus. coming yeah, back yeah. to the burden of proof thing, there's a difference between saying I have no burden of proof and I don't think we have sole burden of proof. So you've changed your position slightly there. And that is no, still, I, I never, yes, never, it's still never, relevant never, that you have never, some burden of proof. You have to provide position. something. No, 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 I never changed my position. I mentioned burden of proof in the context of... You said you had no problems. burden of proof. And then when I asked you the question, your response says, well, I don't think we have all of the burden of proof. I, I, I don't really remember yeah. saying that I had yeah, you no burden Yeah, you did earlier really say you had no burden of proof. But if I said I had no burden of proof, it's because you guys are coming on to me saying I have it all. So I'm just going to straight up say I don't have it. Um, but I think oh, in a fair, if you start, a, hang on, hang on, hang on. In a right. fair discussion, I think everybody should listen to the evidence without putting all the burden of proof pressure on one side. That that's my point. So yeah, if I said I have zero burden of proof, I'm only saying that because Sean Hawkins comes in and says, for two thousand years, everybody said it's a globe. So you you have to find some way to prove it now. And 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 when you come at me with that shit, saying consensus is the ultimate arbiter and thus all the all the burden of proof is on me i'm just going to respond to that bullshit and say no i don't have the fucking burden of proof now i will kind of say that i also don't think I, I have the burden of proof because saying that we live on the underside of a spinning ball is pretty out there and it's against all of our intuition all of our senses all of our experience so i'm I, on that level i do really feel like the globe has really does have the majority of the burden of proof, really does. Oh, yeah. You guys but, have to find a way to explain how your model contradicts everything we ever experienced. So I do well, think we, it, we, it doesn't picture, contradict see, everything. Uh, yeah, exactly. But, it contradicts everything. Contradicts you everything. Know, no, you can see the moon is spherical, the sun is spherical, you can see the well, curvature the of the moon, Earth. The hold on, hold on, you can see the curvature of the Earth simply by taking a photograph from a bay a few thousand feet. We've got pictures of the damn thing. You can measure the, the, the boats go on, over the horizon. The windmills that I've got displayed now demonstrated you cannot have on a flat earth a sunset you cannot have the polaris changing angle as it does in the real world there are all these contradictions you cannot have a shape we know about gravity you can't have a flat thing in with in a with gravity so there's nothing there is not a single bit of evidence that supports the flat earth model and all the things that the spherical earth model predicts occur there is not a single i mean not even a tiniest inkling of a scintilla of evidence or argument is in favour of the fact. Not one. Not the, a single one. Are you done? Rumpus, right, the other side right, to let that. Me, let me respond. Let me respond. Can, hold on. I, I, there's something I was trying to say and Rumpus kind of talked over me. So. Sorry, sorry, Al. I keep on doing it. But the other side to that is whether you take the side that Rumpus is taking there that we've got all this stuff that we know, um, it doesn't matter whether you know or don't know and it doesn't matter which position you're taking. If you have any position that you want to put forward, you have to provide something to support it. So if you think well, it's flat and enough. you think it's stationary, you still have to provide something to back that up. Even if the Earth is flat and stationary, you can't just think that because experience and in, in, in your uh, estimation is flat and stationary doesn't go beyond what we call an inertial reference frame. So we can we know that things can be in motion and all the physics behave the same way. So you still have to go beyond the initial experience and find some way of demonstrating it. 
And you nah, need to invalidate, and you need to invalidate the global no, earth. No, 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 we're, we're, we're happy to Come accept on, you invalidating the global earth. You can, but you can't even do that. Let you cannot respond. do any. You cannot approve the flat earth. Well, you I'm cannot invalidate the global yeah. earth. You can't do either of those things. Let me respond. Anyway. Come on, make uh, one argument. Give us one piece of reasoning or evidence for either the invalidation of the globe or validation of the flat earth. Either one would yeah, do. Just I'm going to respond to LK because he was talking to them. Uh, so I can't even remember what the hell LK said. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Does does the flat Earth have to provide uh, evidence? Uh, yeah, of, of course. Um, I, you know, it, it's it's hard to find practical, repeatable proof that the average person can perform of the globe model. You try to go look at things disappearing bottom up. And then Rumpus has to pull out super looming, you know, jump, no, no, no. jumping jacks. No, 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 no. Super no, no. looming jumping jacks. The picture, so, the picture you know, I'm not, showing at the moment. Easy. The you picture I'm showing at the moment doesn't invoke you super looming. You don't your camera out and say, Look, oh, the picture I have got here, the picture I've got so here invalidates easy. the flat earth straight no, no, away. No, no. Sometimes you can this see everything. This picture is easy. And you can take pictures like this. Jumping jacks. This so one picture guys, on my screen guys, invalidates the flat earth. The There's no issue. super looming. There's no looming argument. You have to account for the obscuring of most of an object, and you can't do it with your misunderstanding yeah, I, of perspective. Uh, I was explaining that earlier, and I, I don't even know where the, the whole the debate went, honestly. I don't know where it went. We got distracted. We got sidetracked. We I was trying to explain it to you with a picture of a hallway, and you just yes, laughed. And you, and no, yes, because you're stupid and you think that the size, you, you, don't understand the, you don't understand this simple argument. And I'll do it again for you. The oh, argument you're God. offering about a vanishing point is all about things becoming too small to see. That no, is no, utterly, no, no, utterly, 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 utterly irrelevant to my picture. Um, OK, on a globe model, uh, are those wind turbines uh, at the ones you have on screen right now? Those are disappearing bottom up, correct? Yep. Yeah, um, that can easily be explained through the Explain uh, the physics of optics and vision. Explain it. Okay, I'm going to share my screen. I mean, I, I explained it earlier. And no, you didn't. You explained how like small things might disappear, okay. and we invalidated that. It was utter rubbish. Right. So I'm going to share you, my screen. You don't even understand the basic formulation. Uh, 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 I'm going I'm to share my screen. I'm we invalidated this. And you guys see, you guys we've we've refuted this oh, several times. Yeah. And you guys see my screen. Quick question, Redfield. Quick question, Redfield. Do you think that by changing the size of the lens, uh, those uh, turbines will actually come back to view? Yes, if we uh, zoom in. Yeah, if we zoom into those turbines, you think they're going to somehow be rematerialized no, no, with what not, face not them? Zooming, not zooming in, but actually changing the size. Oh, either. Yeah, or any oh. any optical operation. I any think, optical uh, operation. I think it's a real possibility, yeah. Oh, my God. I was listening to... Oh, a, my God. Um, oh, my God. Well, that's... Did we hear that? Did we all hear that, what he said there? He yeah, yeah he that's ridiculous. He was... something with the camera yeah, that gonna, will bring the base of those wind turbines back laugh, into view. I want to laugh like little fucking girls. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, but if you... Produce a piece of reasoning that something like a nine-year-old be embarrassed to offer. Oh, Basically, if you think you can see through a wall, it's funny you, that, you okay. think that offering nine-year-old reason, which is basically you want it to happen, but it's you have funny, absolutely no basis for it. We're going to laugh at you. Promise, do you ever like shut up, man? Look, it's funny you mentioned nine-year-olds. Here's Katie Booman. She's not nine years old, but she sure as fuck sounds like a damn nine-year-old. She's the girl who allegedly discovered the first image of the black hole. This is a TED talk from April 27th. What's this got to do with you proving why we can uh, see the base, the base of the turbine? Why don't you let me finish a sentence, man? You, you're deflecting now. You're going so, to read, no, no, I'm not it. deflecting. Let me fucking finish. It's going to take 20 seconds. Listen. Okay. All right. So you're saying, oh, is it possible to bring back something that's disappeared beyond the vanishing point? Remember. No, not vanish. No. You see, there you are. You're misrepresenting why we're not no, talking no, about the vanishing finish, point. This we're talking about something obscured. This we're is not talking about something that's small. We're okay. not talking about something small, this which is. is what you keep on doing. We're talking about something that's obscured, okay. not something that is small. Okay. And I'm having to say this again can and you again. You this? keep on trying it. Hey, can you guys hear this? Watch. I'm going to play some real quick. Can you hear that? No. No. Oh, God. Oh, that's right. I think you can only hear it if it's like... Uh, anyways, this is Katie Booman. She's a girl. Who image. She literally says right here, I'm going to quote her. I'm going to play it. I'm going to quote her. She's talking about the telescopes. Yeah. She's talking about how you cannot... There's a limit to how far you can see with telescopes. Jesus that, Christ. And that it's, hang on. And that it's and it's got big, nothing with on. those things you can hang see. On. Again, you're talking about something that's too small. Dude, These windmills are not too small. Panel. 
Does you keep on deflecting panel? onto another Does subject. Anybody else Are the these panel? wind turbines too small to Does see? Does anybody else in the panel think it should Are be they allowed? Are they too small to see? Does anybody Are else think it should be allowed to, to make my point? Does anybody yeah, else but, think? Yeah, but, yeah, but you're just going to completely different subject. No, no. Anybody else in the panel going to let me finish my sentence? Go on then. No. Okay, good. Thank you, Rumpus. Appreciate it. So it's only going to take me 20 seconds. It's taken 10 minutes now. Okay, here we go. So she's talking about how we couldn't get an image of a black hole before because the telescopes weren't big enough. And she literally mentions diffraction is the reason you, there's a limit to your vision depending on your instrument. Now I'm going to play it here and I'm going to get the quote for you real quick. Do you know what diffraction is? It's a scattering of light. Bye. All right, and here is the quote. However, I'm quoting her, however, this black hole is so far away from us, so far away from Earth. It is too that, small. Yeah, we know that. Right, right. Again, you see, you keep on hey, using this argument about something being too small, it. which is not relevant. It's that's not that's relevant, Red Pill. You keep on rephrasing. It. You keep on trying to bring it back into discussion when it's irrelevant. You just rumpus it because you know it's devastating, man. It's no, devastating it's a simple point. You you're you're you, using an example of something missing. that's literally yeah, light years say. away, so it's it can't too really too be seen. I've only just whoa, everybody. I've only just come into this, and how can you communicate when you're all talking over each other? Well, this idiot. I keep on pointing out. No, 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 no. Okay, so wait a minute. Wait a minute. I've just come into this, and I've just realized that you have both got different definitions and and things. No, 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 no. Hang on. Wait a minute. Dude, me and Rumpus were trying to I was trying to make a point to Rumpus. I'm not gonna let you come in and then make your point. So let me just get my sentence out. Yeah, I, haven't, finish. I haven't yeah. even been able to get my sentence out. So he's I'm right gonna, now. I have stopped here, we go. here we go. We know the point you're gonna make. Oh, it's ridiculous. She's gonna say it's too small. Why to is see. that? Why is that? Watch. Yes, there we go. Well, it's all about down. size, isn't it? Well, you see that? Hang on. You see, well, it's well, about size it's there, Red Pill. You see, the words mentioned small is it's size. Only 10 seconds. If you would just give me 10 seconds to finish. I know what you're going to say. But you're yeah. not psychic. So let me finish. I am, we, we don't need I to don't be psychic. psychic. To know it doesn't right. apply to the image that understand. Rumpus is showing. It's got nothing to do Rumpus, with this discussion. You must understand how frustrating it is to not be able to at least finish. Go on, then. But I know the point you're going to make. It's okay, but let me just finish. Go on, I... then. Go on. All right. We can't hear it, by the way. I don't know if you. I know. Right. I'm going to quote you now. Okay. Well, it all come... here. Quote. Well, it all comes down to to a simple equation due to a phenomenon called diffraction. There are fundamental limits to the smallest possible objects we can see. Now, just five more seconds. Hang on. This governing equation says that in order to see smaller and smaller, and for the new guy I just joined, this is Katie Booman a couple of years ago. This is the girl who took I an image. I know who she is. Right, right. Okay, so this is her a couple of years ago. Uh, She's just describing the Raleigh criterion. We all know this. You're just this telling governing, us stuff we governing, already I'm know. Almost done. Almost, and this governing equation says that in order, in order to see smaller and smaller, we need to make our telescope bigger and bigger. Almost done. But even with the most powerful optical, optical telescopes, even with the most powerful optical telescopes we don't even have the enough resolution to get like super 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 high uh, pictures of the moon so my point is that the op optical instruments be your eye or a camera have a literal vanishing point okay caused by diffraction she literally came out of her mouth and that will cause things to disappear out of your sight so that's all i wanted to say because yes, you know, we were right. disputing we were just two points two points okay. the, uh two points yeah, um, you can see the one turbines. one do you know what that equation was that she each had up on there do you know its name um is this like pop quiz time no, no, do you know yes or no it's okay you don't know. Fucking answer. Most, most people wouldn't know it i'm just wondering if you know it because like, it's a fucking you know. answer man right it's a rarely criterion oh, and congratulations. That describes, i heard about this on making ugly and that describes exactly what i was saying where you're using the fact that things
things become so small and therefore you can't see. Them. What has that got to do with these huge wind turbines? Right. I'm see, really, it. Hold on. Let me finish because you've now used this argument about 10 times. Okay, I'm going to explain you it. You have to understand that these wind turbines are sufficiently large that the rally criterion is not relevant. We can Great. clearly see them. Great. So I'm there's no ahead. issue Great. to do with being small, which is the argument you've used all along. Well, I didn't mention really criteria. Criteria. It's completely irrelevant. Well, I didn't specifically mention really a criterion. No, it is. That is what that equation is. And this is the argument you're using all the time about things becoming so small, we can't see them any longer. But these okay. wind turbines are not small. We can see them clearly. Okay. Your argument is utterly, utterly, okay. utterly invalid. And you are a moron if you can't great. see that. Uh, great. Jesus, uh, how stupid can you be? Okay, congratulations. Okay, great. So I mean, now I'm, I'm going to explain to you. Now I'm going to go ahead. Oh, and... Stupid. Okay, congratulations. Now I'm going to go ahead and explain to you how things can disappear bottom up on a flat plane. Ready? Okay, yeah. can you guys see the whole Can I, right can I say one thing before you start? Yeah, rumpus, rumpus, rumpus. No matter how much it, it, you, it pains you, please <laughs> let him finish. Okay. Thank you. Okay, do you guys see the hallway on screen? Yep. Okay. So the compression zone, the vanishing zone, the vanishing line, something that artists for probably a thousand years, who knows how long they've been about. Cool. Wait. You see, you see what I'm talking about? You see what I'm talking about? So, rumpus. Rumpus, rumpus. Sorry, Al, I can't help myself. Just, I'll have just, to go away. Just let it let it all come out, <laughs> right? It's, it's like Nathan Oakley says, when you get to that devastating point, rumpus it's has not... to jump in. All right, all right, all right, all right, okay, so... Uh, there's a compression zone in the distance. It's a vanishing line. It's a vanishing point. Artists know about it. It's. I mean, anybody who denies this is uh, basically. You're basically pretty much. You can say you're a science denier. Um, it's not a compression closer, zone, is it? The closer something is to the compression zone in your vision, the well, that's that's where things disappear. It's reason it's called a vanishing line or a vanishing point. Oh, things will disappear. <laughs> Um, um, we why are we putting so, up with no, this? No, no, come, come on, man. Come on, man. Let him finish. I know, I know, but just let him finish. Right, let him finish. He's waffling as well as being. Please in. let him finish, Rumpus, because <laughs> I'm actually building a model to explain <laughs> this to him, so be quiet. Well, okay. okay, you want to go for longer, do you? Man? It's funny because I actually, I actually, I actually made a. A 3D model of the long hallway yesterday. Yeah, yeah, that. same, same here. Just really quickly. Did yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a professional 3D modeler in any sense. Well, I, I used to be for 18 years, so go on. No, no, I've seen you, I've seen you on those issues. Oh, okay. for God's sake, finish this goddamn pain. Well, you, you've you extended it by 20 yeah, I know okay. I have. I appreciate that. <laughs> okay, so the further away something in your field of view is from the compression zone or the vanishing line or the vanishing point, um, it is not going to disappear into the vanishing point or the vanishing line. And the bottom of an object in the distance is going to be closer to the compression zone, vanishing line, vanishing point than the top. I haven't finished. Than the top of a very tall turbine. So it hasn't been, for, for lack of a better word, it hasn't been eaten up by the vanishing zone yet. It, 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 it oh makes god. perfect sense. Oh my god. This is does. like a, now, this now is like a nine Robert, year old. Robert, Robert, yeah, but just even the picture that you're showing doesn't support seconds. what you said. I, I gotta go eat something. I've been starving. I haven't eaten anything today. So, uh, uh, just just give, me, give me 60 seconds, um, Red. Go ahead. Just, just please. Right. So, I'm going to present my screen. On the left, we have a corridor, and on the right, we have a corridor. And these are very different corridors. On the left, and I will just make a slight little bit of a correction here for height, I would imagine. Come on, you little shit. Uh, now, sorry, I'll leave it. Right, so these are the same distance away from a camera. One of them will disappear bottom first. One of them will never disappear until it gets to a sufficiently small size that the resolution on the monitor would not be able to resolve it, much like the human eye or a camera lens. Now, as these move away, we see that this, oh, and I've got the, uh, my apologies, my apologies. Wait a minute, because I've got this camera still doing shit. Bear with me. Bear with me. Break. Right. So as this object moves away, we see, and this, and this is the same distance away, one of them kind of starts disappearing from the bottom first. The other one is never going to disappear. There is only one difference between these two corridors. One is fricking curved. 
the other is not. So this has nothing question? to do so with perspective. So yes, go for, it. go for it. Can you go back to the left hallway? Can you bring the left hallway back, please? Uh, the yeah, the flat one. Yeah, yeah, there you go. I, I was uh, I was literally creating my own 3D model yesterday with a hallway too, so it's very interesting. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, great. So, uh, well, so my my question for you is because I was actually I'm not even a 3D modeler, but I yeah yeah created, with the question. I created a 3D model and I'll, I'll present mine too because why not? If you present yours, I'll present mine. Um, let me just pull up my 3D model real quick. Oh, my God. Tall object disappearing. Okay, uh, X that out. Uh, it's like listening to a nine-year-old speculate about maths and perspective. Yeah, ab ab absolutely. Rumpus, just, just give him just two out. seconds, please. Jesus, why? We have to put up this painful drivel. It's just at home. Anyways, it, I'm not even going to bother right now, but look. Okay, so hang on. Let me get your thing back on screen. So what's the question you had for Dean? What was the question hang you had on, for Dean? Hang on, hang on. Okay, so... Can you just let it continue going? Just let it continue going. Yeah. Yeah. I want it. I want it to go so far away that it. Uh, oh right. It, okay. So oh the. Oh one the, fuck! No. Damn, that's a shame, dude. No, you no. Have one of the curve. Yeah, one of the curve. All way. Right. So so I can I can send it all the way away to till it gets to nothing if you want. Why did it rise off the floor? Uh, it hasn't. I haven't. I haven't extended the the corridor far enough. But if oh, you want okay. it to, fair enough, fair if enough. you want yeah, it to stay I, on yes, the yes, floor, yeah, that's yeah, not yeah, the yeah, issue. Yeah. Red pill. Yeah, you listen, know, hey, it's hey, hey, from the bottom name, up. It's the issue. Hey, 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 3D modeler guy. What's your name? Dean. Why would you cut the hallway short before the vanishing line? Because it's uh, an infinite because, distance yeah, away. Yeah, because because the laws being an artist, that's, the that's, laws are parallel. Being an know, artist, the laws of parallel lines dictate that flat they earth. will. What? Well, he's you're done it now to, for you. He's, he's extended compare. it now. You're you're trying, trying, no, 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 he's extended on. it for Hang you. On. He's extended it for you now. Hang on. He's you're extended it for you now. Let me finish. You're trying to compare. You're making the left hallway analogous to the flat earth, the flat earthers argument and their point. But flat earthers say that things will disappear and disappear bottom up because of the vanishing line. If you cut the hallway That's short, true. let me finish. If you cut the hallway short before it reaches the vanishing point. Yeah, but he's just extended it. Did you see that he's extended it? He's it's just extended it for you. It's he's just useless. extended it for oh, you. No, no, I know. I'm just trying to say that right, what, right, I, to right, what right, I'm so. trying to say is that what you yeah, presented now earlier. Stop, everybody stop shouting. Everybody now he's extended it. You haven't got an argument is disingenuous as yeah, fuck. Yeah, forget what he did earlier. Now he's extended it for you. And yeah. fantastic. Great. So uh, can you bring maybe bring the box closer again just so we can kind of see it going, going actually receding outwards? Uh, not, 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 notice how now that the, the floor of the hallway, notice now that it all goes all the way up to the vanishing line of the viewer. Just, just no, keep that in mind. Not, just oh, you know it, you know it, but you fucking didn't put it into your analogy. It's irrelevant. Topic. Now, so this is it, it's and you want me to just... Because that's what the flat earthers say. Yeah. No, Everybody it just cannot calm down to no. yes, please, please, if you can then extend it out. Yeah, so what I'll do is it will go all the way till it gets to a zero vanishing point, where I can no longer see on the monitor. Well, here, so here's, so now here's what's funny. Number one... It's so small that it's damn near impossible to even determine. Correct. It's, it's Correct. It, yes, Correct. it's a size Correct. issue. Rumpus, please. Rumpus, please. So, yes, this object now is of such infinitesimally small size that it has disappeared. Now, guess what? All the of it. Yeah, Rumpus, the uniformity of this object does not. It, it, it uniformly what is the height, decreases. What is the height of the viewer? Uh, anything you want. At the moment, well, what it's, is the it's, height of this, the viewer this right now? What one meter. One, one meter. This is a two meter corridor. So the height of the viewer is one meter. Yeah. And what oh, is the height camera. of the box? What is the where where is the top of the box in relation to? Uh, the, it's it's actually a, it's actually a two meter box. Right. Uh, two well, meter, it's not a box. It's a cylinder actually. But yeah. You know, so. So it's the size of the entire hallway. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Um. First of all. Yeah. First of all, you need to bring the viewer lower. Doesn't matter. I, I don't shall. think I don't I don't think it'll matter in this in this 3D modeling software. I don't think it'll matter. It won't matter in reality either. Because I, I did it yesterday on a 3D modeling software, yeah. and I think well, it might be a limitation of the software. I don't know what the fuck it is. It, but, it, like, it absolutely, it, it absolutely isn't. You go below the thingy. 
He'll get confused. Uh, it actually, it actually kind of looks like it's disappearing bottom up. Uh, it absolutely isn't. Do you want a? Well, because do you want well, me to because we're looking at the bottom of it, you idiot. Yeah, no, right. a camera in real life is never literally going to be at the surface level. Remember, you're always going to be slightly above it. Draw some lines on the object. Yeah, that's what I did yesterday. I made it. I made it a multicolored object. So you have pink on the bottom, green in the middle, blue on top. And I tried to see if you can see it eat away into the bottom pink layer, and it didn't work because by the time it starts to disappear, by the time it starts reaching the vanishing point of perspective. It's so small, you could barely even make out the color. Which is not relevant to the wind turbines, is it? Yeah, when I say it's uniform, when Jesus, stuff disappears in the distance, Jesus, when the stuff disappears in the distance, it's, it's uh, even. It's not in the, from the bottom up. I've never seen this. Exactly. Yeah. You're a goddamn no. moron. If you even think geometrically that's possible, just drawing a simple diagram to yourself, you should, should be able to see you cannot lose the bottom of it. No, no matter I, what I, I, I definitely, I definitely believe you can because yeah, the further you're away, wrong. further away you're something wrong is, you believe that you want to believe it, but you the don't further, understand the geometry. Let's let's see the demonstration. All right, there's a very important thing I want you to look at here, Red Red Pill, and that's I've coloured this perceptually. Although the bias is on it's your side, yes, I know, I know, the bias okay. is on his side. <laughs> It is less than half. The red well, is less than half. 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 Otherwise, it causes confusion. Hold on, Rumpus. Let me hear Dean, please. Yeah, yeah. I want to hear this like very. Jose, you yeah. bloody sabotage my explanation to bloody red. <laughs> I'm <color>. sorry, Rumpus. <laughs> I apologize. You keep on doing it, and then, oh. but but Rumpus, sorry. you always get a lot of airtime, bro. Well, I'm not did... I, yeah, I know. but he... I was having to explain yeah. something, and I sabotaged it again. It was going to be gibberish, but yeah, Dean, I want to I want to see this. Like it's important to me. Not including a hallway that's long enough to reach the vanishing. Point oh, God, yes. Yeah. This yes. is important this, for Red Pill and myself. I want to see this, this is, demonstration. This, it's this, very this, disingenuous, man. This, this corridor goes off like a hell of a long way um, compared to the curvy one at the That's side. What happens. That's what happens. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, so what's very important here, and I want you both to realize this, because I don't understand being an artist and a, and a 3D uh, geometric person of like 18 years. I don't understand how someone can think that perspective will have a bias towards this purple area and not have a bias towards this red area. Now, no, it does. It has, it has, it has, no, it doesn't. Stop, stop, it stop, 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 stop. Right, idiot. okay, okay, don't, okay. Don't straw man me, though. I didn't say so, that. So, Red Pill, so do you think, given the laws of perspective and, geometric, uh, uh, and geometry, that the purple is going to disappear first? Is that what you're saying? The purple will disappear first. First, uh, yes, I will say that. Moral. But right, know, okay. Like so, I modeled yesterday on my own software. It's so small by the time it gets. The size to the is not right. Right. Okay. 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 So you can stop, barely, everybody. You can barely yeah, yeah, yeah. make out the two colors. Yeah, but that's awesome. when it gets small. It's the point. Is does it start to disappear from the bottom up before it gets too small? You idiot! Jesus right. Christ. So. What we've got here no, now. I'm just waiting for him to, to do it. I yeah, so, it. so I've made it into a poll now that, so that we can see it a little bit more. And, and, now, and then just to specify, the viewer height, is that's exactly at the floor? Is that basically uh, what you're doing there? If you want me, if you want it absolutely exactly at it the does, floor. It doesn't. It could wait be. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It is now 100 percent exactly no, at no, the floor. Make, level. Make, you can even make it a little bit higher. No, no, no. It yeah, is let him have it higher. Let him have it higher. Right, a little higher, bit higher. Yeah, high, higher benefits you guys, and that's fine. Well, no, that's no, the way it no, should no, no, be. Your camera no, is never buried in the floor. You're always standing above the surface. Yeah, so that's it fine. It has that's to be slightly above. That's fine. Lift it up. Lift it up a little. That's fine. For no, God's no, sake, no, no, no. We want, we want to give you. Well, I, I want to see it right in the line of the floor. Yeah, yeah. I can so, see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's beautiful. Yeah. It should disappear from the bottom up that way. Yeah, it should. Right. Okay. So the. So the issue here is that this object, we're always going to see, and this is an assertion based on 18 years of experience, we are always going to see 100% of it. 50% of that 100% will be purple and 50% will be red. Mm -hmm. There is no exception to this in geometric law or maths or perspective. Mm -hmm. Now, that is my assertion, having done this shit for an incredible amount of time. Okay. Now... You don't, now, appeal, you don't have to appeal to Unless me. we go under the floor. Unless we go under. Yeah. Ah, right. Yes. I, I, listen now, to your arguments. I listen to your arguments. I don't listen to the appeal to... Uh, yeah. Now, now, here's an interesting thing. You just, I, it away. you just moved away. It kind of looked like it disappeared bottom up. Can you do that again? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Ah! 
Whoa, what the fuck is that? It's small. Yeah, pause it. Pause it there. Can you zoom in? Can you take a screenshot and zoom in? I only see the red, dude. Dean, put the red on the bottom and the darker color on the top. He's getting all excited because he he can only see the brighter color. No, no, no. That's good. This is good. If you can take a screenshot of that. Everybody stop talking. Everybody stop talking two seconds. Please. Good show. So. Why am I not recording this? Oh my uh, god. Because you're an idiot. So <laughs> don't worry about Kia, it. I'm recording it. Don't worry about it. I'm recording, I'm recording it as well. So. Everybody oh, calm you. down. Dean, flip that goddamn colours. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little screenshot here Moving and we're gonna the magnify the damn thing. The glow Look glow. at that. Beautiful. Oh, <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Now wait a minute, wait a minute, now, red pill, red pill, check me. this, check this. I've sent it Only the furthest way time. it's gonna go. And guess what? I'll take another fucking screenshot of it. Let's have a look at this. Oh my goodness. 50 fucking 50. Yeah, wait wait it minute. is geometrically wait impossible. Wait Dave, wait the goddamn thing, no, guys. He's the purple, not the red, please. Hang on, Hang on guys. Let the me red get... color's brighter. That's why you can see it. He's looking at it on screen. Please, on, Dave, please, for God's sake, flip Hang the on. goddamn thing. Let me give please. my reputation because Rumpus is moving the glow post already, trying to flip. Dean, and please flip, flip the colors. He's it on the brightness and shit. Now, oh, no. thank you, Dean. Right now, do it again and demonstrate. Now uh. you can see the red. There you are. You see the red. You see there, bloody moron. The red was the thing that you could see. Okay, okay, that's that's true. Yeah, now, right. Dude. But, but to be God fair, no, hang on. Hang on. Changing the colors doesn't prove that it's not disappearing bottom up. It just proves that the color of objects plays a role in what you can and can't see. Yes, but you can oh see God. the red. Exactly. You that was the point. the red would disappear. Let and it refute. doesn't. You've guys, been shown to be a moron. On. On. Guys, let me refute the, the zoomed up picture. Now I have a question about the program and you how it works. You said the red would wait, disappear. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Let me hear red. But it hasn't. Yeah, let, let me hear red. I want to hear red. Come on. Mm. You see the little red dot there? See the little red dot? Oh, 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 oh. see the tiny little red dot? Oh, what does that mean? Oh, it means we can see the bottom of it. Oh, that means the red pill's a moron. Well, we knew that before. Right, just that doesn't happen. Christ. I respond. Go ahead, Red. Go ahead. I want to hear Red, please. I you and it does the mag when you did that little magnification. Yeah. My is it is it just taking the geometry of the plane and the geometry of the light and saying well on a flat plane it's always going to be visible because that's lights just traveling and and there's no, no perspective the and there's no vanishing zone right now what that screenshot does is much like the sensor of a camera or the cone receptors in your eye i take an instance of what's being seen so when i do this this is me taking a screenshot of the monitor tiny and then all I am actually seeing is the pixels that were visible at that size. But I'm able to zoom in and have a look like this to see 50-50. That's and it. And the point is we need to compare this with my wind turbines. And well before it gets so small that it's a single pixel, we're seeing this loss of the bottom of the base of the things well before any of these size issues occurs. And you need to account for that well before you have any angular size that's comparable to what you can see. You utter, utter moron. We've got yeah. on my windmill pictures, it's this big, and it's still yeah. we're losing the base. So it's utterly yeah. irrelevant. Your whole line of argument is moronic and stupid yeah. and desperate. You're a yeah, moron. Uh, all right, so I was doing a, a 3D hallway model just like this yesterday. Can I present that real quick? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I think I'm currently sharing, so let me uh, bring I it up. I don't know, Mike. Wait a minute, give me a second. Okay, can oh. you guys see my screen? Yeah, we can click yeah. on you. We can click on yeah, your yeah. Yeah. I yes. see you. Okay, great. Uh, let me. Okay, so this is what I was working with yesterday. I'm not a professional in any way. Yeah, I know started... that we're not professional in anything. I, I, I just started fucking with this 3D modeling software. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, we know. What I'm gonna do is because I I got similar results to you yesterday actually, and I was uh I was like, oh wow, that's uh that's pretty uh, pretty cool. 
Um, so let me just bring this up here. How much of a moron can I take? <laughs> drivel. It's Rumpus, just please. Well, obviously not much because you can't stay quiet. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Al. <laughs> yeah, Al he's, he's no, if he was a bit more humble and said, I'm, I'm trying to learn his... No, he keeps on a circle. No, I am That's what gets Rumpus, like, Rumpus, Rumpus. I, I'm very humble. It's just that you guys yeah, have no. moved the globe post so much. Yeah, that, no, no. Besides, besides a few outbursts, I think he's been okay at the moment. I've been more <laughs> aggressive than he has. But Rumpus, you are fucking mad. Bad. Well, like, yeah, but he, he, I had to deal. I've had to deal with this guy. Well, over two hours ago, I had to deal with this guy's okay. idiocy, and then he yes, keeps okay. he keeps on repeating it. He keeps on repeating this issue of the small size, and like, and he doesn't seem capable of absorbing the fact that that's absolutely irrelevant to the wind turbine picture or any other picture we've got where a substantial portion of something. Is, so he keeps on coming back to this rarely criteria, although he doesn't even know what it's bloody called. And he even gave us a video, as you saw, on the issue of something getting really small. Again, completely irrelevant. We've got right. big things losing most of them. Their angular size is big, and we can so see large portions are this missing. Here. Not anyway, to do with small anyway let's just watch this. 1,000 feet. Bring it. Uh, so, uh, so, I, so here's what I did, basically. Uh, let me just zoom out here real quick. So basically what I did was, why is this so, like, stuck? And you've just the... shown him, Dean, what the issue is. You've completely invalidated his old and now we're going back to some drivel he's got somewhere. So we've invalidated on a whole series of logical reason and demonstrations. Anyways, we still okay. have mission out. So, okay, you, so you can see that there is a, there's, a, there's a building, and it's 100 feet tall. The viewer is 6 feet uh, height. Uh -huh. uh, their eye level, and there's a 100 tall foot tall building. So what I did was I wanted to see will it disappear bottom up in this 3D simulation. Uh -huh. So uh, well, let's go ahead and just start moving it back, and uh, we'll see what happens. And what ended up happening was, as far as I could tell, uh, let me just click on that, and then I should be able to move. Okay, I'm just going to start moving it back. We zoom out because it takes fucking forever. Can I suggest something for you to think about here, Red? Yeah, sure. Um, so the human eye sees more green than it will any other color, and it's an evolutionary trait. And it's the same way why the, T the tag of file format or TGA is actually built to give more precedence in bit depth to green. So when you're, when you're showing colors, colors aren't the best thing for human beings to, to look at. What I would say... And a very easy thing to do is create a shape that is symmetrical, something like a cube, not a tall building, but a cube. This 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 cube, then you could move off into the distance. It, it, no, just just any solid color cube, because you can look at it any, at any time and say, has this changed shape shape and become something not a cube? Because if it has, then it's disappearing non-uniformly. But if it remains a cube, then it's disappearing due to angular size and perspective uniformly, and you can still see all of it. So it's just it's just a thought experiment for you to do. So okay, can you not but, see but, red pill? The fact that's had to get that small, and yet we're dealing with pictures like mountains and wind turbines where it's not getting to this size. So this demonstration you're giving us now is utterly, utterly, utterly anyways, irrelevant. Anyway, so this is basically what I did. And... You know, I, I get I put my and eye up close yeah. I put my eye up close to the screen and try to see can I and still see can, yeah. can I still see the green there? And honestly it's it's just and it's not, irrelevant, it, it's yeah. basically it's almost that's, impossible to even have nothing to do with the wind turbine. He doesn't even mountain, let me finish. Yeah. Like no. you and I you and Rumpus, I first please be quiet. Yes, like so so I couldn't even distinguish if it was disappearing bottom up. No, but something weird started happening though. When I went far enough, uh and I'll show you guys. Well, look, I'm just going to have to fast forward because this is going to take forever. So while he's doing that, Dean, would you just like to confirm for him that this is irrelevant to the discussion at hand? Uh, so, someone, so, someone be mistaken due to or me thinking they're mistaken due to an apparent, you know, either lack of knowledge or misinterpretation. You, you can't just put a block on that and say, well, let's move to the right, the right thing rumpus you've got to you've got to understand at what point no, 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 my point mistaken. is that guys. big things with big angular size that we can clearly no, see are I'll get to that. Guys, will and get therefore to that. this is completely rumpus, and rumpus, utterly man. irrelevant what he's showing rumpus, 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 me and this guy are having a good discussion man you're just no you're rumpus. not you're just demonstrating drivel so look we understand you only what you're demonstrating guys. we understood before you did hey, demons just demonstrating something that i already knew hold on rumpus the punchline is coming rumpus hold on i want to hear red punchline so yesterday Yesterday, before, what's the designer guy's name? What's your name? Dean. 
Sorry, Dean. Y yesterday. So this is yesterday. Yeah. This is before I even saw Dean's thing. I, I created, you know, a similar example with some structure going out into the distance. I wanted to see if it would disappear in a flat plane simply due to perspective and the vanishing line and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, what, sure. what ended up happening was I got to a point where it actually pops out of existence behind the horizon. Now, I can't say that it disappeared bottom up. It's so tiny. I can't even tell where, you know, if it even is being eaten into. It's impossible to see it. I don't think you guys can see it on my screen, but I'm at a point now where if I move it just a little bit further back, the, this tiny little pinprick, it's probably one pixel on my screen. It just goes, it blinks out and it's gone for good. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to press the button now. It's yes, gone. That's I'm going pre I'm, I'm to press it again. It's back. I'm going to press it. No. I'm going to go away one more right. time. Yeah, yeah. No, Hang on, right. I'm, not, I'm not saying... I'm Eliminate not saying... the horizon and put it in the mid-air, the object, and see if it's going to disappear the same. Yes, it will, because it's getting too small to resolve. Yes. Oh, wait, 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 that's not my point, guys. My point it's is... It's a size issue. What Hang on, guys, let me finish. My point, I'm not even saying this is a flat earth proof here. I'm just saying it might be an issue with this software, because something really weird started happening. So I'm going to go... I'm going to push it a little further away again. The little black dot is gone. But what's weird is that if I just keep pushing it away eventually the black dot would start reappearing again. And I didn't I just, understand why it was Do you want me to explain why that is? Yeah, I want to know why the hell it just like blinks back into existence. Yeah. Okay, that's not an issue at all. I will start a... Uh, wait a minute, I'm going to capture my... I'll draw it on my iPad because I've got a Apple Pencil to do this. Is it going to take a minute? You're just yeah. what yeah, yeah. You've just discovered right. sub cell positioning. Uh, I'm going to temporarily oh, stop recording and start again. It depending on its position, sometimes it doesn't. That's completely oh, relevant. Well, so, well, I, hope, I hope that doesn't have an effect on uh, the um, bottom. No, because we're dealing with big things in which subpixel position is not relevant, like my wind turbines because, uh, or mountains. What I ended up concluding yesterday was that if this thing is just disappearing in and out, even though it already disappeared, which is kind of weird, I'm thinking yeah. there's something in the program that continues to render. There's something, there's something in the program that keeps rendering one pixel. Probably in the presupposition sub 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 that on a flat plane, you should always be able to see the light. Subpixel is not relevant. Is short, even though when life is short, did a real world experiment outside of a simulation, it was disappearing bottom up. So. We're dealing with big objects. <laughs> which you can cle clearly see, so it's not an issue. Right, um, Red, can you see my screen? Oh, sorry, did you want to say uh, something, Al? Well, no, I mean, if you're going to explain this thing, it's fine, I'll wait till after yeah. that. Yeah, so, so, Red. Guys. Sorry, say that again. I have to go after what you show, i got to go. All right, so what's actually happening there is, on a rendering system, it has to rasterize geometry. Uh, and it only has a finite display medium to do that, and they are your computer's monitor, uh, your computer's pixels, your monitor's pixels. Now, unfortunately, it's, it's not, not a monitor issue, Dean. It's not a monitor issue. What do you mean? Well, he's generating a bitmap. What the monitor? I do not. It's, I think it's probably the software not actually generating a pixel in the image. This is not a no, monitor. No, he says. Issue. No, he says he moves it away and it comes back. Yeah, the distance in terms of geometry, he's not moving the monitor backwards and forwards. No, no. Oh my God, Rumpus, please. So. What's actually happening here is we've got an object of a certain size. Now, let's say that size gets to within a pixel. So if that object was here, your computer says, hey, we are fine. We are well good with this. And it becomes a single pixel. Now, the problem that you have is based on how it's rasterizing and the, en and the engine is dealing with it and the accuracy. If the object gets to this size, now it's going to have to, uh, if, if, if the object is here, it's going to say, well, hang about. I'm, I'm going to sample this pixel to figure out if anything's here. And we can see that, let's say, it's 10% filled. So the choices here are, what a normal rasterizer does is it can say, well, I'll fill this 10%. Now, we get small anomalies if this object crosses a line like this, because some rasterizers have different weight based on how they determine what a pixel shade, uh, what, a, what a pixel is going to become. Because now you can see that this should be uh, 2.5%, this should be 2.5, and this will be 2.5. But it does, it can't actually do this. So a lot of rasterizers say, well, where is, and it's done on a sub-pixel basis, like what Rumpus was saying. We can have sub-pixel samples to figure out where this thing is. And sometimes, based on something called the clipping plane, if it decides to draw it, it can add more precedence to a pixel. So when you're zooming away, imagine this size here starts off here, but actually goes to here, 
it might actually be in view here but not here at this size because here it's affecting more uh, pixels so therefore it needs to subsample these to figure out what there is thus it could determine more weight now i don't know whether i've explained that enough but that's how Subpixel rendering and rasterization works. So my point is, the point is, in, in your thing, the pixel is moving up and down very slightly because you you said you've got an observer height and the so where the object is is rendered very slightly up and down. So as it's oscillating up and down, sometimes it'll hit the center of pixel. Sometimes, as Dean's showing there, it'll hit a boundary. That will cause it sometimes to appear, even though it's smaller, and sometimes not, depending how where it's jiggling to. And, but and all believe of this it or not, is irrelevant to the big issue of why we're It, it, it is, but he was asking a question. Yeah, my question for Dean would basically be, it's almost as if when something gets so small, the computer struggles and tries to continue rendering it on the screen. Is that is that what's basically happening? Uh, no, no, it doesn't. There's no struggling there either. Like I said, if 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 sub sub sample uh, sub pixel sampling, it's all to do with sub pixel positioning. I mean, we, yeah. I've explained it to you twice now. If you haven't picked it up, well, what? okay. Go here's and, the thing. Go on, on this, watch it again. On my model yesterday, I would. I would, I would just, I would send it back, and it would disappear, yeah. and yeah. then, and then I would bring it a little closer. I'm like, oh, it's, it's popping back in, popping back out. Okay, cool. Then I, I kept sending it back. Yeah, you're not listening and, to what I'm saying. And then, right and then it would just reappear again. Yeah, yeah, we got that. Like, and you have been listening. If you'd have what I'd said, said you'd understand I it. it I sent it back like. Like twenty thousand extra feet after it had already disappeared, and it was still blinking in and blinking out. And I'm I'm just curious: is that an issue with the with the softwares that isn't yes. happening in the human eyeball? That's my question. Yeah, no, so so no, no. So what what that is? Um, a computer cannot render a a infinite amount of distance, nor can it work on a infinitesimally small grid system. There has to be a limit there. So what the computer does, it creates what you call a Z buffer. That's a buffer of units from the camera or the observer to the furthest object away. Now, sometimes they can be fixed. It depends. I've got control over that in Maya. So, for instance, in Maya here, I can actually control. I've got this example here. I don't know whether you can see my screen, yeah, Red. Yeah. Uh, so I'm, I've got this camera aligned perfectly with this table, and we can see that nothing disappears for, uh, you know, from the bottom first, unless I sink my camera below it, and then. Can I ask you a quick question? Oh, he's dropped. Oh, okay. Something must have went wrong there. That was fun. Um, oh, okay, he's back. Yeah, yeah. He's back. Hey, hey, Dean, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, kind of. Can I ask you a quick question? So, um, just just as a just to get where you're coming from, do you, uh, would you can can an object like like the block, for example, in your hallway, the red block, do you do you believe that it can eventually completely disappear at some yes. point? Yes. Okay. Um, it becomes so small that even in subpixel sampling, oh. the render is just going to say, I'm not going to consider that, much like the human eye or a camera light right. sensor. So right. so why do you think it is that, like, um, it, it, it's just interesting to me. So, it, it, I mean, do you think that the computer struggles more to render a pixel than the human eye would? Do you think it's like, oh, wait, but it's a flat hallway and it's a parallel light ray, so it must be reaching the viewer at the distance, so I must... Must render it well, but it's also so far the, away. Well, well, the computer doesn't. The, the, by, by the time it's 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 you know rendering to the screen, the computer's turned that scene into a two D representation and rasterized it, which is just means shading it uh, or making it into shadable quadrants. Now, it, it's it's not that it struggles; it's that it, there's no reason calculating something that can't be displayed because it's too small to display with a pixel. Just so it's like too small to see, but it's not too small to be to to be rendered and calculated. Uh, it, it will be calculated. It might not be put on the image because it, it's let's let's say if you've got something that's a tenth the size of a pixel, well, it makes no difference to a pixel if a pixel is the smallest unit that you can color. It's like saying if you know if I, it's it's hard to explain. Well, it's not hard to explain. Wait a minute, let me see if I've got this back up. So it's like saying if if I've got an object, this is this could be a camera sensor. This, this whole thing here. And these mm -hmm. could be pixels on the camera sensor. If I've got an object that's that big, which I don't know whether you've seen what I've just drawn. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to see that because this 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 pixel, when it actually resolves the, the light and capacitance of the light coming off this object, 
it, it just doesn't register on this pixel or uh, it will register but not it won't render this pixel to an image to say hey there's an object there because it would just be a bl let's say that was a black object we're getting it wouldn't confused color this. between sensors and things that are generating images this has got nothing to do with sensors this is jet something from a 3d scene that's generating an image uh now he asked he asked me another question then he asked the, me I, question well, look, then. Got, well that's the, he's, he's dealing with a situation where he's got a renderer not rendering the pixels accurately or varying depending on the sub pixel which we could do with all sorts of rounding errors software optimizations you don't know it's irrelevant yeah this, this, this is my question my, 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 what i want to know is and i do i do gotta get going because I'm, I'm starving but uh my question is i just i just want to make sure that the that the 3d modeling softwares i, I want to make sure that it's analogous to the human eye or a camera on the scene i, I want to make sure that the program because it's operating in geometric planes awesome awesome can you see no my you, you, you can see you, you can see my screen ray of light. i just want to know if if it, it's actually accurate or if there's some kind of issue where it's like because again i had that weird anomaly with my thing it's almost like even though it had blinked out it was even though and i and i continued to move it away twenty thousand feet further than when it had blinked out it was still Blinking in, blinking out, this tiny little grain of sand on the screen. Yeah, yeah, that, that, so that'll just be crossing is, pixel. Is boundaries. that sort of an issue with the way that it's programmed? That, that's basically no, my question. No, no. So, so one way that you can test that, Red, is you see the little barrel here that we've got that goes off into the distance on your flat surface with the camera perfectly aligned. Now, in a 3D program, I've got the ability to, I think it's camera one, is it? I've got the ability to change the angle of view, yeah? which is basically changing the focal length. So an example here is if I did some quick math, you've got a 24 millimeter sensor and your P900 or 1000 will go to 2000 millimeters. And I've just brought that back. Mm -hmm. Because all I've done is zoom in with your P1000 to mm -hmm. 2000 millimeters. Well, so, I don't know. I, I'm... So um, it, that, that I, I is the reality of the situation. That. I have I have a couple of issues. Number one, somebody has actually done a real world non simulation based uh, test for the very uh, bottom up disappearance. I don't know if you've seen it, Dean. It's from a channel called Life is Short. It's it's actual uh, real world non simulation based uh, observation test. And uh, he went to a long hallway. Uh, did, have you heard about this one? Yeah, he's got a bumpy floor and he's got a gap yeah. in the back mm -hmm. and a light. No, yeah. Remember, office is not a bumpy floor. You moved the glow post and said it's, you know, because the freaking oh. F-stop or something. I've done a real world test where I uh, set up a spirit level and put a battery on top of it so that we knew that the surface that you was being zoomed into was perfectly straight and flat and leveled. And then I walked away with p900 and zoomed into it and uh, none to of it rumpus, disappears no perfectly flat surface according to rumpus so well, if anyway, you're being very anyway, technical red, there's no red, such red. thing as a perfectly flat red. surface but, so, that but dean, doesn't um, work. I, I, dean i really want you to watch this video i'm going to put it into the hangout here because what he did was i mean you guys can say oh it's a curved floor it's a bumpy floor but he he tested it he designed the test to check for that he put two no, cameras at well, that's what you say, Rose. Well, let, let, let me have a look, Rumpus. He put two cam yeah, I'm going to send it right now. He put two cameras at the same height, but they were different lenses. Uh, one was a way bigger lens than the other, and the light disappeared uh, out of one and not the other, even though they were at the exact same height above the floor. So I'll, I'll send you a link to that because it contradicts my modeling software, and it contradicts what you just showed. Um, so I want to know why software. Oh, no, I'll, yeah, no, I want to know why software. I want to know why software isn't like jiving with a real world test. That's basically you know. So I'll send it yeah, to you. Just, just, just one thing, uh, Rad. Uh, what you're going to have to reconcile with your theory, though, is I've zoomed in on this corridor, and this was the point where this was disappear, uh, this disappearing. I've just brought you back by changing the focal length and obviously zooming in. However, what you need to explain is how a transform happens and we end up seeing this because that geometrically is impossible now if this guy yeah. can do that he'll win a nobel prize and our yeah. reality changes and, and, forever and you know what you, you may not have heard of his name is life is short rumpus thinks he's an idiot but i think he's very 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 i think he's very smart you can argue he's wrong about everything but he's got a high rpm brain because this motherfucker no, makes he makes these insanely complex videos that are insanely completely deep. confused. And, uh, I think he, he doesn't understand like, basic uh, geometry really, like you. Really so yeah, I just put the link in the chat here in the uh, hangout. Uh, check it out because it's yeah. a real world demonstration 
of what's not happening here in the software. And I think that he using the two cameras, one with a different type of lens, a way bigger aperture, the other one was a much smaller lens. I think that check, that's a good test to check for what the flat earthers are asserting, that it's not a bumpy floor or a curved floor. The reason the light is disappearing out of one camera and not the other is because of the aperture size. Yeah, the so you can so you can see a light. So the oh. f-stop is different, so it's can so, set more light. So you can look, see more detail. Those, we know that. Those, but those, you've got to deal with windmills where there is not an issue of size. I, I, These I, windmills are huge. I presented this uh, to Rumpus and Carlos a couple of weeks ago on the show. They have their kind of arguments, and maybe you'll have your own, but... I think it's something to look at. So, but I got to get the hell out of here, guys. So, thanks for the conversation. Uh, we'll talk later. Thank you, Red Pill. You hung okay. in there for a few hours. I appreciate it, brother. <laughs> All right, bye, LZ. Later, guys. Kyrie Irving, believe it to be flat. Hey, hey, I, no, I, I, you saw this, right? Don't get me start. Uh, so we are not on a, a spinning ball. Hey. We're on a flat, motionless. Oh, you're, this is flat Earth. Like, you, so you're you're pitching this as a serious call. Yeah, yeah, no, that's serious. Welcome back, my woke friends. Earth looks flat. It feels flat. The logical explanation is the Earth is flat, right? Oh, oh, no, dick, shit. You saw this, right? Oh, get me start. And that dude who jumped out of a perfectly good balloon. What's his name? Felix. Felix Baumgartner. Felix Baumgartner. Let's build as the free fall from the edge of space. Oh, get me start. He would have been about two millimeters above the surface of this globe. That's his edge of space jump. And you don't see the curve of the Earth at any altitude. And then you'll you can get see the curve itself. of the Earth at certain altitudes, though. Yeah, I, I was on a plane no. to get here, and I saw it. <laughs> yeah. This morning, the Austrian daredevil plans to jump from 23 miles above the New Mexican desert. That's 120,000 feet, four times higher than most passenger planes fly. And not only that, they made sure to photograph him standing there with a really wide angle lens, which curves horizontal lines. So in the photo, you see this curvature of Earth's surface, and he's like, wow, he's in space, look at that. No, he's not. And so when I went in flying from England to Africa, the curvature that I saw, would that be just something that I expected to see and my sort of eyes made it look that way? It was observation that showed us the Earth's curvature in the first place. And if you don't believe all of those scientists and government people for some reason, fly in an airplane and behold an inarguably spherical Earth. At that height, you don't see, you don't see the curvature of the Earth if you are two millimeters above this beach ball. This is a man who just minutes ago was going 536 miles an hour to break the sound barrier on his way down. The sky was totally black, you know, I could see the curvature of the Earth, so it was, that was amazing today. You don't see the curvature of the Earth. I could see the curvature of the Earth. You don't see the curvature of the Earth if you are two millimeters above this beach ball. <laughs> it is, he just don't. <laughs> that stuff is flat. I travel a lot and I fly a lot and I can see the curvature okay. when I fly. Okay, so 35,000 feet, you can see it, right? That's what you're saying? Generally speaking, I can see a slight curve to it, yeah. Okay, so Neil deGrasse Tyson says that you can't see it at that altitude, so I really This really doesn't matter. We have, probably we have satellites. <laughs> <laughs> that stuff is flat. That stuff is flat. Oh, get me started.